Hey everybody, welcome to Explore Society. Today it's being taken over by Games We Never Play, the new podcast that's sweeping the nation, I dare say. I'm your host, GM Mace. Let's go around the table, let's introduce each other, and then we'll talk about the format of the show and how you guys can participate. Let's start over here with Mr. Peck. Oh, hi. Wasn't expecting to go first. Hi, I'm Dan Peck, <laughs> and I'm living my childhood dream of being a Ghostbuster today. Where people might know you? Uh, they might know me from uh, the Twitter. Probably not. Uh, I also <laughs> write for a fairly well-known TV show, but check out my Twitter to find out which one. Aha! Do you, do you also do any sort of podcasting? Content? Oh, I yeah. do. Yeah, I you know I'm really bad at like advertising. I don't know uh, yeah. who would do that. I'm also uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I play uh, Travis on the Doctor Who actual play role playing game podcast, The Game of Rassilon. The entire first season now available wherever you get podcasts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did I do it? Did I you do did it? it. You did it. Do it. Thing? Up top. Yes. Beth. Hi, I'm Beth. Uh, You might know me by my fake name, Arcady, because I'm actually a cosplayer, primarily, and we all use fake names because stalkers are real. They are. Um, But yeah, I go by Beth, and uh, you can find me on Twitter as Arcady Cosplay, and pretty much anywhere else, and uh, yeah, I mostly dress up as fictional characters, but occasionally I ghost bust. All right. Let's jump over to this side of the table. Hey, Uh, I'm Jesse Durant. Hello. Uh, what am I known for? I don't know. I've, I've done several shows here on Saving Throw. Uh, so I have, I have a, an Instagram. Nobody looks at it. But, <laughs> but if you want to find me, it's under Jesse Durant. I do, uh, I do many plays and things such so you can keep up with what I'm doing. So that's, uh, and this game was made the same year I was born. It's Yay. as old as me. So is that like 33, 34? 33. It's 33 now. Nice. Nice. Uh, hi, I'm Michael Holmes. I'm one of the co-hosts of Games We Never Play with Mason and uh, Stephen Pope, not pictured. Um, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at mrh underscore three e. Um, and if you want to hear a couple of dozen real life stories of the paranormal, you should uh, tweet me, and I'll uh, I'll dispatch one at my whim. Spin a yarn. You're a spooky boy. Mm-hmm. First, we got to bust pretend boy. ghosts, and then we can <laughs> talk about real ones. All right. So those of you. Thank you, Jersey Driver. Jersey Driver. Driver. Jersey Driver. Uh, those of you at home, you guys can participate. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make characters live on stream. Uh, there should be a downloadable link that'll get uh, shared pretty quickly here that has a PDF of the character sheet. And it's incredibly simple. This is one of the first rules light game systems ever made. So it was made by Sandy Peterson and the people that would go on to make Chaosium. You can tell because if you actually read the Ghostbusters International Rules, they're like, oh, the wonderfully crafted game Call of Cthulhu from Chaosia. I'm like, oh, I wonder why. <clears throat> so, those of you at home, please go ahead and pull out your character sheets, and you guys at the table do so as well. Great. So, this is a very complex uh, rule system here. I've got one sheet. That's all we're going to need. First thing you're going to do, we have four main stats. That is brains, muscles, moves, and cool. You're going to get 12 points to allocate among those four. Now, I asked you guys to come up with some character concepts beforehand. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll go around the table for a few minutes and talk about like what you're thinking for your character. Uh, so brains, just that, how smart you are, things you can do, like uh, can you deduce things, or do you have a recollection of soap operas? You know, that's fine. Muscle, you can cobble food. <laughs> cobble uh, food. Yes, right. Which we're still trying to figure yeah, there out. Was a debate before right. we started if it was cobble or gobble food. <laughs> I'm going with cobble. Okay. I'm All right. team gobble. Yeah, I still think it is cobble. Like you make your own food out of animals. Mm-hmm. I think it's both. <laughs> Split decision. <laughs> uh, next, you have moves. And with that, you have uh, something like balance, gossip. I don't know why that's in there, but it is. Gossip. Breakdance, <laughs> hide. These are under your moves. Mm. Sniff. Sniff. Sniff is very important <laughs> under moves. Sniff and move. strut. Oh my. Yeah. Strut is in there. Strift, uh, sniff, strut, and seduce kind of all go mm. in hands. Very, very good. Right. <laughs> uh, and then you have cool. Cool is your ability to bargain, to stay cool under pressure, to uh, raise children. Which, you know, you need to have a lot of cool to do that effectively. Play the stock market is one of them. Play the stock market. <laughs> would be real cool. These, these are not made up. These are yeah. straight from the yeah. book. Uh, <laughs> it's free online, so download it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and put 12 points, uh, split them up amongst those four categories. 
And where do we write that on our character sheet? On your character sheet, you should see, let me pull out a character sheet of my own. Right to the right hand side of the yep. tracer. Is there, right uh, there, you should see brains, cool, etc. There should be a little box right there. Is there a max that you can put? Uh, there is up oh. to four. Okay, thank you. Okay, so wait, up to four. Wait, so like max so in one <laughs> stat is four. Yes, okay, so, right, right. Right. so Sorry, you can't have math. five in brains. Yes. Yeah. All right, all right. But the game has a nice way of balancing that out with uh, the next part, part two. We're off to a great start with our inability to add to twelve. Yeah. Woo! Oh, thank you, Jersey Driver. He's added one reroll, or they have added one reroll to the table uh, for the players. So it's going to be community reroll. I'm just going to put this sharp, spinny thing in the middle to signify that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Should we tell you what we have decided, or is this going to be like an end of character creation big reveal? End of character creation big reveal. Cool. So stay tuned to see what numbers I wrote down. <laughs> yeah. It's between 1 and 12. At least several times. All right, but well, one and four. <gasps> oh shit! That's true. That's true. Said yeah, I'm allowed. Oh well, yeah, no, I'm allowed that. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Uh, all right. So everyone's gone ahead and put down their numbers, or if not, you got a general idea. You can still think about it. Uh, you do have a list of traits right in front of you. Um, I'm sorry, talents right in front of you. Now, for each one of your trait, which is cool, move, brains, muscle, you're going to put one talent there. Are the talents the things that we were making fun of? Yes. Yeah. Now you, can, <laughs> you can also create a new one if you're like, I would really like to have social media, because they didn't actually have that back in the 80s. You could do that. If you want to put it into like a bigger banner, like advertising, and say it's cool, I'll allow it. Or brains. I think cool is probably more like it. One of the brains one is just guess. G guess. <laughs> I'm good at guess. I don't know. I guess there's ghost here, right? <laughs> you got in one. Oh, yes. Which one of us is taking cobble food? Because I feel like it's going to come up now. <laughs> is it cobble, cobble food skill? Well, so one of you guys can take cobble, the other can take gobble. <laughs> and never the twain shall meet. Mm hmm. Uh, so while they're handling that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the brownie point system and how that works. Um, you don't die in this game unless you are a really, really bad person and the GM doesn't like you. The ghost master, in this sense, uh, does not like you. Uh, you don't die. If anything, you lose all of your brownie points and you're no longer able to play. So, how it works is normally the ghost, ghoulies, people, whatever, they attack you. And when they do so, you have to roll to dodge or roll to get away from it. When that happens, you can choose beforehand to spend brownie points to add dice to your pool. So for every point you spend, you get to add one extra d6. Uh, when you do so, it slowly depletes your uh, pool. Now, if something happens where you take a lot of damage, and normally damage is pulled from your traits, not from your brownie points. You can spend brownie points to feasibly say, oh, I happen to get lucky and move out of the way. And so your traits are not harmed, but your brownie points do still go down. When they go hit zero, it's lights out. Now there is a way in game to trade in brownie points. And also they're gonna have to rely on you guys for more and girls. Everybody, whatever you are. Non-binary? Non-binary. Mm -hmm. Ghosts have no genders. They're just ghosts. All oh, right. Uh, one thing to go over in this system is the dice. Since this is a rules light system, everything <clears throat> uses D6s. The number you have next to your sheet uh, for any of your traits and uh, talents is just the number of D6s you roll. One of those D6s is going to be known as your ghost die. Uh, with your ghost die, if you roll it and uh, number one comes up, that means that you've rolled a ghost. That means a complication occurs. Now, it doesn't count as a one, it counts as a zero. So you may succeed on your roll, but something bad may happen. Now, it's only for humans and Ghostbusters. For ghosts, if a ghost comes up, good things happen. My, uh, my powers are stronger, my ghost can do more things, etc. But it's meant to be a lighthearted, fun game. Has everyone done their traits and their talents? Yes. All right. So. Let's do this in a reverse order. <laughs> 
Let's uh, everyone talk about their character and what their concept was. Starting with you, Mr. Holmes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, 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 it's fine. Um, so uh, I kind of envision this guy who is uh, um, kind of a combination of Adam Savage from Mythbusters and Ray Stance, um, who's also a good-natured Canadian of Norwegian descent. <laughs> of course. Uh, so his name is Sven Menderchuk. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Just call him Sven. Uh, so he's got long red hair and a long red beard that he wears in, in like braids. Uh, and he dresses in metal t-shirts and he's got <laughs> tattoo sleeves, but he's a really sweet guy. Um, I put four in brains and I chose parapsychology as his talent. I put two in cool because he's very nice, but he's kind of clumsy. Uh, but I chose convince as his talent. <laughs> Um, cause you know, when he, when he gets on, on, on something, he can really, you know, kind of try to win you over to his way, eh? Um, <laughs> all night, all uh, night. I, I, I'm going to do my best. I'm <clears throat> surprised I have a voice right now. Uh, three in moves with listen as my talent and then three in muscle with run as my talent, because those both seemed like things that a Ghostbuster might probably need to do yeah, at some chase point. Chase down ghosts, I gotcha. Or run from them. Mm -hmm. That too. Yeah. <laughs> Get her. So, As yes. lighthearted piano music plays. Exactly. So Sven Menderchuk. Sven <laughs> Menderchuk. Thank you. <laughs> With Sven we stand. All right. So are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. All right. So uh, I am a small town guy, right? Who moved to LA to be an actor? <laughs> <laughs> Completely outrageous story. It never yeah. happens. No. Uh, um, but he keeps failing, and he is continually asked to uh, do smaller bit parts and also stunt work. So his he really wants speaking roles and is unable to acquire them because he's not probably a very good actor. Um, uh, and the reason he's into ghosts is because, as a child, he encountered what he thinks was the ghost of his own mother. Backstory. Right? Yeah, Whoa. backstory, right? Nice. So he's, so he's trying to get to the bottom of this and figure out, like, what's his place in the world? Is he, is he supposed to be here? The deeper no. questions. Yeah. Uh, does he have a name? His name is Brandon Mendelssohn. <laughs> that side of the table, all right. <laughs> hey, you didn't... This is what you get for not giving us more specific criteria. <laughs> I'm not going to dictate everyone's last name. I mean, come on. Well, let's just see what that side of the table does. Oh, I oh, hope shoot. it's super... I know, I know. Like, literally over here like, oh, crap, I need a name. All right. Uh, so. so my name is Emily, which I just came up with two mm -hmm. seconds ago. Well done. And my concept is um, she is an engineering grad student who needs an internship to finish her master's degree, except she accidentally overslept on the day everybody was doing signups for internships, and so she got the one that nobody wanted, the unpaid ghost internship. Um, so she doesn't really want to be here, but she really wants her master's degree. It's probably not even her field of like engineering, so she's smart, but she's probably a bit out of her depth. Uh, so I have a four in brains, and I just picked the very general science, uh, because I'm not a science person, and I figure that'll cover my butt. Uh, I've got a three in cool with charm, because I like that. Moves, I put a three with sneak, because she doesn't want to be here, and she's gonna sneak away. And a two in muscle with run, because she doesn't want to be here, and she's gonna run away. Sounds like you're gonna have to send the ghost after two of you. I'll play, I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan. Um, so I am going to be playing someone from the actual Ghostbusters canon. Um, <laughs> so because we were told ahead of time this is taking place in present day, I'm going to be playing the grown up version of Oscar Barrett, who was the baby in Ghostbusters 2. Uh, so when he was a baby, he was almost possessed by Vigo to become the new ruler of the world. And after that, he was absolutely raised by his mother, Dana. And uh, Peter Venkman was definitely in and out of his life a lot. So because of that, he's going to be... Uh, I, I gave him a four in brains, uh, which comes from his mother's side, obviously. Um, but his talent is going to be in a cult because he has been possessed since he was a baby. Um, and from uh, Dr. Venkman, he has a foreign cool with a talent in charm because that was the sort of father figure that Peter Venkman was to him. Uh, I took two in moves with the talent of listen because you 
you have to he spent his basically his life around the Ghostbusters. He kind of knows like a little bit like how's a good way to present yourself. And then uh, unfortunately, he does only have a two in muscle, but his talent is kick things over. <laughs> kick things <Ooh>. over. <laughs> I mean, it's a solid choice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what I would have gone with. He, he did try to learn the Peter, uh, you know, pulling the uh, um, you know the, <laughs> the tablecloth. Table you know, the the, the, the flowers, flowers are still, still standing, standing, but yeah. he wasn't good at that, so he's good at kicking things over. So yeah, so I'm playing Oscar too. All right. I guess I probably should have mentioned what my talents were, huh? Oh. I didn't even mention that at all. That's okay. What's your, what's your talents? Let's <laughs> oh, fill talent. in. Uh, all right, right. Uh, brains, it's a cult, so we could maybe bond on that. A little occult knowledge because of the past stuff. He got very interested at a young age. Uh, cool is bluff because he had to constantly like talk his way out of sneaking into places and, and uh, investigating. Uh, sneak as well. So a lot of sneaky and climby. A lot of type of physical stuff that you're doing when you're sneaking around on people's property looking for ghosts. Also, uh, Sven's parents owned a metaphysical bookstore and uh, followed fish, and he was given a lot of free time by himself as a kid, so, yeah. Got right. into a lot of trouble. Nice. At the bookstore. But he also read a lot. Yeah, so that's how he knows a lot about a lot their of fish psychology. fish died that day. <laughs> <laughs> that's P-H-I-S-H. Fish, the band. Oh, Pahish. Yes. I love Pahish. Oh, my God, they're so good. All right, so the format of the show is the first part is just character creation as we've gone through. Um, the second part is going to be the actual gameplay. And third is going to be like a critical review of the system. Things we liked, things we didn't like, things that could be improved. I know they're not taking notes, the company is gone, but still, it's fun to do. Now, all of you start with 20 uh, brownie points to begin with. Uh, we'll hand out equipment in a minute. Equipment, you can only have three pieces. So you're very much going to have to pick and choose what you're taking with you. Yes, walkie-talkies do count as a piece of equipment. So you can be like, oh, trap, uh, my proton pack, and I guess walkie-talkie. Okay, and you don't have the, uh, the the reader. So, the PKE PK meter. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate that. So. I should call Jinx on you, then you can't talk. No. I would never that would that. make for a wonderful <laughs> stream. I'll just do my <laughs> main time. Stream. Yes, that would be a face that you could first. do it. You could totally do it. I, I I've got a very expressive face. Next game. <laughs> Next game. All right. Yes. So that's all for character creation. As we said, this is a rules light system, so you can just whip out a character in ten minutes. Done. Question. Yes, ma'am. The total roll. Do we add stuff and put things in the total roll column? Yes. So for your first number, for your brain's cool, what have you, you're going to take that number plus three and put that on the far right. So whenever there's something that uh, you feel, you, oh, I'd like to use my science to figure out this, you know, phenomenon, then you would roll up the total number of, number of dice. Otherwise, I'll just say it's oh, it's a brain's check or a cool check. I knew I'd be asking how to do three plus three at some point here. Mm -hmm. Well, you got it out of the way. Right? I'm sure I'll come <laughs> nice back because I won't remember. <laughs> All right, so if character creation is done, yeah. mm -hmm. let's go into the actual gameplay. This is taking place modern day in LA. For some reason, the Ghostbusters Corporation, because they are very successful, who, isn't, who doesn't want to be a Ghostbuster? Who doesn't want a franchise in their city? <laughs> At one of the table. Uh, so it spread all over the Eastern Seaboard, but it never really got a footing on the West Coast. No one knows why. There's maybe land's too new. Who knows? So they're trying desperately to breach L.A. Uh, this right now, um, everything is being ran by Peter Venkman as the CEO. Uh, Ernie Hudson is the COO. In the science department... Winston said more. I'm sorry. Winston. <laughs> Winston Zedmore. Thank you. I'm sorry. Ernie Hudson <laughs> is not doing this. Winston Zedmore is. Thank you. They're somewhere interchangeable. Uh, in the science department, you've got Egon and Ray, but unfortunately there was a terrible accident. And, you know, Egon unfortunately did not make it. And Ray was terribly wounded. So he hasn't been back in the lab for a very long time. Uh, they've asked Janine Milnes to come out of retirement to help head up the LA branch, at least just to get you guys started and get you going. Now, because this this is the LA branch and they are kind of cutting budgets and trying to do what they can to become profitable, you guys only have the Gen 1 equipment. So you guys have the original proton packs, yay! Even though there have been vast improvements, they have I'm sure they'll be you. fine. They'll 30 be years fine. old, they're fine. They have a half-life of 5,000 years. Exactly. They made us build them. They're, they're actually parts. 33 years old, eh? 
Sorry. Good point. <laughs> Three years old, Jake. There are boots. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> this takes place in Los Angeles. You guys have a ghost-busting headquarters. Uh, how would you guys have come to work for the ghost-busting corporation? Now, I know you had said that you were doing an internship. Um, Mr. Peck, how would you have uh, come to work for them? Uh, I feel like he's sort of been around the business his whole life, and mm -hmm. it was just like, I guess I have a job? And they're like, yeah, I mean... You're sort of our mascot who's alive as opposed to Slimer. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's not glamorous, but we're going to send you to L.A. So Nepotism, got to yeah, love it. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yep. All right, how does your mom feel about this, Dana Barrett? Is she okay with you busting, or is she I just think like, so. I think yeah? so. I think she knows that despite... Does she know what makes you feel good? Yes, uh, that despite it being uh, a dangerous business, she does know that it is overall for, you know, the greater good. So, you know, she, uh, it's sort of like the way maybe a parent would be a little uneasy about, like, if uh, their child went into um, the police or the army or something like that, where it's like, I'm proud of you, you're doing something good, but I'm also a little worried for you, so... Understood. Uh, now, what about you two? How would you guys have come into the ghost-busting arena? Uh, I, I think it's probably just getting tired of working, like, restaurant and bar jobs. <laughs> like, doing, doing that to make a living while uh, trying to act and stuff and continuing to fail. <laughs> Injuring myself constantly, doing stunt work. And I was like, you know what? I just cried and had to handle a Jack Daniel one night, and I was like, I'm gonna do something different. <laughs> just, I'm gonna do something with my life that's meaningful. Make a difference. And I don't care if my dad is, is just as disappointed at this as he was at the other thing. Because he never believed that I even saw him. He never even believed it. It wasn't even, so whatever. I'm just gonna do my thing, so. All right. And then they took me. Surprise. Well, there wasn't a lot of applicants, surprisingly. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> the pool is very small. Um, and I think uh, Sven came to LA originally to do like uh, fabrication and like performance work for like um, concert venues and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but he always had a hankering to actually kind of give back to the community. And this was a unique opportunity to not only give back to the community, but also uh, dip his toe into the metaphysical side of his upbringing and also occasionally wreck shit in an industrial way. Of course. So, yeah. Nice. All right. All right. So, the first mission. We need to open on a taco stand, Culver City. People are screaming, they are running for their lives. As you see beans and meat flying through the air, you see a taco truck just, or a taco stand just rattling back and forth over and over, the sirens wail above you as the Ghostbusters pull up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sure. You guys disembark, you guys have been called here because somebody or something is attacking this taco truck. The police are standing back, fire department's standing back. They have no idea what to do. There is a glowing purple light emanating from the stand. What do you do? Are you guys ready? Let's get it. Oh, wait, were we supposed to do equipment? Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys are getting out of the Ecto-1. Okay, oh, All okay, the equipment sorry. is in the Ecto-1. Okay, oh, we just got to scoot up. Gotcha, gotcha, okay, gotcha. Exactly. Cool. Uh, thank you, Elias. Thank you, Vampires54. <clears throat> thank you. Much appreciated. Ooh, they're throwing big things at you guys. Hey, hey, hey nice. Um, I, I would like to take a, a reading with a PK meter. <laughs> okay. Nice. If I may. You most certainly can. Go ahead and give me a science. I'm gonna. Uh, can I do parapsychology? Is that okay? Uh, yeah, or I'll allow brains? you to do parapsychology. Which would you prefer? Give me brains. Okay, I will do brains. And if you have a parapsychology you want to boost that with, you go for it. Uh, let's just do brains. Um, the red die is the ghost die. So that's... Uh, what is that? That's eight all told. Eight all told. Okay, you're able to take a simple reading of this phenomenon, and you can tell it's at least a class five uh, entity of some kind. Right. Well, that clears that up for us. Yeah. <laughs> now, class five, for those of you uh, that don't know, is uh, essentially no torso. Uh, it's lower half of the, or upper half of the body, arms, mouth. Uh, it has decent powers, but, you know, it's nothing that you guys... Can't handle you guys are professionals. Look, it's not my fault if you don't read my Oof. emails, all right? Wow. <laughs> thank I can't you, even go Steven from that. the Tulsa brand. Oh, oh Steven. Aww. I was like, Sven. No, thank you, Steven. Uh, looks like we've already got one unlock. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. All, right. all players get an extra brownie point, so bump them up to all 21. Right. Thank you. 
We're gonna live forever. They forever. really want the celebrity voices. I can I can feel it. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't. Uh, <clears throat> we will unleash them only when necessary. Please. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is we don't have to go in, you know, guns totally blazing here. Just be careful. You know, people eat at that taco truck, eh? <laughs> yeah, I got food poisoning from there once, so I if it's destroyed, I mean, there's enough other taco trucks. Right. It's fine. Well, after you. So the, one of the, the, the chefs just looks crestfallen. Just, <laughs> Check your Yelp. I told you all about this. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to strap on a, a proton pack. Okay, so you're taking a proton pack. Yeah. Go ahead and write I'll that in your equipment. Okay. All right, proton pack for you. Mm -hmm. uh, are you taking any equipment? I guess. What's left? There's a proton pack. There's uh, traps. Um, and you have the PK meter, walkie talkies, and the goggles. I'll take a trap because I don't think anybody's taken one yet. Uh, actually, I'm going to take a tra trap two okay. and mm -hmm. goggles. What do the goggles do? Protect your eyesight. Science <laughs> one. <laughs> seems pretty simple. That's true. <laughs> all right. I wouldn't be caught dead I blasting any ghost like, without wearing goggles. Different like spectrums and yes. all that uh, such. Okay. Yeah, I'll take different things with trap and a proton pack. Trap proton pack. Okay. Goggles for aesthetic. The goggles. Can't be a Ghostbuster. Can I throw on a Bluetooth headset? Can we, uh, you know, it's modern time. Can we be on cell phones? I mean, no. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like we got another unlock. Thank you, guys and gals. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. All players, for the next 30 minutes, uh, roll one extra go die. Ghost die. Oh, oh fun. That is, that's Wait, not that's, good, right? That is thanks, good. thanks, Steven, yeah. from the Steven. Tulsa branch. Thanks, thanks Steven. I hope the apartment It's nice. It's a group effort, folks. <laughs> Doing us dirty in Tulsa. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start a timer. Louis! Oh, thank, thank you! Thank you. you. Mil grazie. All right, timer starting now. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna take a uh, walkie talkie. Also. Do you remember, is this like the, uh, is this the on button or is that the uh, no, quantum no, Malay? Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. Always, never at your face. Always point it towards the ground. Okay. And then check your settings. All okay. Right. Elias, thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Up and down, it's off. Side to side, it's on. Okay. So just remember that. And then it, the thing about the streams, don't uh, do the. Don't um, cross the streams. Don't. Okay. Right. Don't cross the streams. <sighs> I'll put the goggles down. Okay. For aesthetics <laughs> again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The aesthetic goggles. Oh yeah. yeah. You're you're ready with the trap. Yeah, I got the trap. All right. Uh, who else is? Uh... I got a trap too. Okay. Yeah. I want to. Uh... Because we're all on one side of this thing, I want to kind of like squirrel my way around to the opposite side so Good. we can sort so of flank the miss, ghost. Yeah, right flank the ghost. With, yeah. All right, so you're gonna try and flank the ghost. Yeah. Uh, I ain't flanking no ghost. <laughs> Bondo. Bondo. Thank you, Bondo. <laughs> Thank you, Bondo. <laughs> All right, so you're flanking. Uh, how are you approaching the ghost? Uh, behind or... everyone else. Yeah. Okay. Just. I'm hanging blissful. back. I dig it. You no, know, I'm scoping out. Location, you know, keeping track of everything, totally doing my job that I'm <laughs> not paid to do. You see, you have a bunch of people got their cell phones out, they're recording what's going on. Oh, I'm definitely getting there. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, <laughs> you guys need to stay back for your own safety. We're professionals. <laughs> and also, make sure you mark us hashtag Ghostbusters LA. We're trying to get it trending. Wait, I thought it was underscore LA. No, 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 no. I mean, backslash, anything is fine, right? All right. Any, anything. Just make sure you're posting. <laughs> so we got a few more unlocks that just came through. Oh, jeez. No. Yeah, I know. I don't, I, mm, okay, <laughs> go on. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. All players get five extra brownie points. All right, thank 26. you. Thank you, folks. We're you guys are amazing. We're gonna for real. <laughs> Uh, you guys also hear a, another siren, similar to your guys' Ecto-1, but like smaller, like more compact. Uh, and it's a drone. <laughs> uh, and it's a box. Uh, which one of you is going to receive it? It's got the Ghost uh, Corporation logo on it. I'll do it since you're all packed up, as <laughs> it were. Okay. You receive it. Uh, note from it says, from headquarters. You guys have unlocked Do Re Egon. A new piece of equipment has arrived, and it is the slime blower. Oh, oh, well, that slime sounds blower. Really from Ghostbusters dirty. 2. All <laughs> right, <laughs> slime was everywhere in the 80s. Like they had turtles with slime and sharks. Yeah. And Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Yeah, Nickelodeon. Uh, so with the slime blower, it's a lot stronger uh, than the peak, uh, than the uh, actual proton. Uh, what this does is instead of doing one point of damage like here. Does, it's going to do two, but it can't trap. So it's going to do twice the damage, and you can also use it on uh, humans, you know, organics. 
right. for softening things up. Now, mm -hmm. technically, that would be three pieces, uh, four pieces of equipment. So I'm guessing I have to either drop something or put it in the ecto, right? Yes. Okay. Is that just know. one slime blower for all of us to share? One slime blower for all of you to share. Two. I can carry it. Uh, there will be more back at the station. Sweet. Mm. Elias, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Man. you guys, I missed you all so much. <laughs> all right, look, I'm going to put it in the car for the moment, and if we need it, we know it's there, all right? Do you not trust Copy. me? Are you doubting my commitment to the Ghostbusters? I would never doubt your commitment to the team. I'm just saying, you know. Oh, gosh, can we just hurry up and do this? I'm hungry. Brandon Mendelson. 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 Keep that in mind. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire the the uh, the proton pack. Okay, so you're just firing at the at the, the shack. You're gonna enter the shack and fire. Because uh, you don't have a clear line of sight for the ghost. I thought it was outside the shack. Uh, uh, it's okay. in the shack. The glowing purple light. Uh, okay. Well, okay. I'm gonna kick things over. So I'm gonna kick <laughs> the door open. Kick <laughs> the door open. I love That's it. I have, I have an ability for it, so I'm gonna do that. So I roll five, and two of those are ghost dice. Yes, two are ghost okay. dice. Thank Here you. Here we go. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, no ghosts. I got uh, ten. Are you sure? I can't even read those dice. It's a Dalek. If it's a. If it's oh, a one. if it's yes. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, ten. Twenty one. 24 in total. Wow. 24 in total. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm using my Doctor Who dice as ghost dice. <laughs> the door comes comically off the hinges. Like you, <laughs> ab like it splinters. It's. Oops. Uh, well, I mean, yesterday was leg day, I guess. Don't skip it. <laughs> nice kick. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it, everyone's like, whoa. Everyone's got on their phones. Hashtag Ghostbusters LA. <laughs> uh, inside, you see this repulsive. Uh, purple being just horfing just as much cobbling food as much as it can into its mouth. <laughs> oh no. Tacos. It's not going in in its mouth. It's going in but it's just coming right back out and right on the floor. It's just covered in purplish ectoplasm. It's disgusting. It it when you kick the door open it reels. That's what your tacos <laughs> are. in and straight back out again. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fire. That's on good tacos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick, we got another unlock. Okay, Thank wait. you guys. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Celebrity voice. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. There's two of them. Yeah. Oh god. So, there's the first one. Uh, character was hit with an errant ball of ectoplasm slime. <laughs> so you scared the thing. Ah! Slime goes flying for 30 minutes. One of you will have to do a celebrity voice of somebody who unfortunately has passed. So I'm gonna pause the timer here, and we're gonna go ahead and roll a D4. Someone got a D4? If not, I'll just roll this twice. Uh, no, I don't know. All right, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'll do again. Three. It's gonna be you, sir. Me? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, do you have a voice prepared, or do you have a sheet that you'd like to roll off? Uh, I didn't, I didn't prepare a sheet. Do you want uh, to my list? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do Alec Guinness. <laughs> oh, more specifically, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Classy. I do, I dig it. Right. Alright. So, I'm gonna resume this. When this goes off, we have five more minutes on the voice. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your first name again? I'm Dan, we've known No, 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 no. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> Oscar, be careful in there. And now I sound like Stewie. You sound like John Lennon. <laughs> okay, great. Then I'm gonna go with John Lennon. Yeah, there we go. all right, cool. Redcon, John Lennon. All right. <laughs> hey, be careful in there, man. <laughs> what? Wait, why am I talking like this? Wow. Oh, no. Ah, uh, you've been possessed. All right. Textbook. Textbook. Classic. <laughs> this happens every other day. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and fire on the ghost. You're gonna yes. use, uh, I believe it is your fire weapon. If you have it, moves if you don't. Uh, no, I have moves. Okay, roll your straight moves. Okay, so these are both ghost dice because I only have two. Oh boy, this will be fun. Thank you all. Oh hey, I got a ghost and a two. So you're blast. I'm gonna die. Goes wild. No, you don't die in this game. Remember? I, I, uh, in the stream you had it set too high. You, you chastised them <laughs> earlier for it. You had yours on two items. Ah! And it shoots you right back onto your back. The beam pfft, tears right up the middle of the, the stand. Uh, you hear the chef in the background crying even harder. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's, it, do as I say, not as I do. All right. Uh, uh, and I come stand over you, goggles down. Instant calm is going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging the new voice. Nice. I don't care for it myself. Anyway, sorry, right. go on. Uh, what does everyone move score? It's all right. It's, uh, three. three. Two. Okay, you guys can go ahead and go first. All right. Everyone that got three, uh, you guys can choose. 
Was that the thing we weren't supposed to do? Just, In general, okay. we're not supposed to blow up things. Right. Ghosts, not okay. things. I'm gonna just do it. I'm just trained for this. All right, here we go. Elias. <laughs> Elias. Oh, thank you. Hello. Oh, Elias. Elias. My goodness, thank gracious. you very much. Elias Bondo. Ooh, Steven, Vampire. Oh, you, all art. Really. I appreciate it. So much. Blessings. Ah. Oh. Uh, they really want to get the uh, the ecto uh, what was it ecto prime ecto prime crap yeah. I wrote the freaking thing <laughs> <laughs> you could say they've been overcome by the spirit of the season <laughs> I love this All right, I'm gonna pause this real quick because more stuff has been unlocked <laughs> oh, wow. these are amazing I love you all Paul McCartney puns all, all right oh God, so we already got one celebrity too. voice uh, we got the tools we got the talents uh, again another little drone flies on down. Who's gonna receive it this time? You're on your back, so unfortunately yeah, no, you cannot. I'll take it. I got You'll the spare space. I'm All gonna right. be hanging in the back. All right. Uh, you open it up, and it is a boson dart upgrade for the proton pack. Oh, wow. What the boson dart does is it shoots, uh, instead of a steady stream, it shoots uh, an energy ball that does three points of damage, um, but it has to cool down after being fired. So you can fire one round, next round it has to cool down but you're doing a lot more damage overall. So you can like switch back and forth between the boson dart and the regular stream or? No, your uh, you're you're equipment either. has to cool down. So you can't, you can't trap anybody with that one either, huh? No, you okay. cannot. It's for taking down bigger or badder Ooh, things, yeah. which sounds like I may have to pull some out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Gosh, we just got started. I know, <laughs> and I miss doing this. So next up, celebrity voices, Oh, Thank you, Civil. Civil Savage. Civil Savage. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up, celebrity voices, two. Uh, since you're doing a voice, we're not going to have you do it again. I appreciate that. We don't want you repossessed. So, one to two, three to four, five to six. One to two. <laughs> I'm glad you're prepared. I'm not prepared. Uh, because I'm not very good at voices, but what I am good at is a French accent. I'm going to be possessed by the ghost of Jacques Cousteau. Oh, nice, nice. Huh? No one can say it's not the voice. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm casting a spell, so we're doing flawless impersonations of the people that we're imitating. Mm -hmm. So there we go. <laughs> it's uncanny. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, I like the way you think, man. Yeah. All right. And back in. All right. All right. For so, the glory. Blast him. All right, go ahead and give me moves. Okay. Unless you got fire weapon. I do not. Okay, moves. So that's gonna be <laughs> three, and then <laughs> two of them are gonna be ghost eye. Yes, they're going charming. to be the vivid ones here. Okay, vividly colored. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a ghost eye right there. Yep, that is a ghost eye. All right. <laughs> Yours, unfortunately, uh, if any of you guys have seen the 20, I think 16 Ghostbusters reboot sequel, whatever. Um, your beam, you fire it, but instead of firing it too high up, you fire it too far down. <laughs> Energy still real hard, and it lifts you ten feet in the air. You go flying back, landing straight on your butt, looking as uncool as possible. Many <laughs> people snapping pictures and tweeting. <laughs> Ugh, Ghostbusters LA, it's what a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Ambulance. <laughs> oh, right. this equipment is so 80s. <laughs> All right, it's two of you are goal. left. What are you going to do? I'm chewing gum in the background, looking real unimpressed. <laughs> Sven, it's all up to you, buddy. Um, well, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to at least get the trap out there, just in case one of my compatriots happens to get a lock on it at some point, and it's I'll ready to go. I'll one over. Um, mm -hmm. And let's see. What's, what's another terrible joke I can make uh, at the ghost's expense? Um, imagine no possessions. It's easy if you try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is a double pun. Yes. Um, oh and yeah, God. I kick the trap out and it snaps tight. And, um, <coughs> Looks really cool. Just yeah. Got my foot ready on the, uh, the pedal. pedal. Yeah. All right. Cart before the horse, but I, I like that you're prepared. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. All right. Yeah. I have faith in my team. <laughs> Misplaced though it might be, yeah. it's there. I'll step up next with my dart upgrade on the proton pack because I just want to finish this and okay. go home. I'm going to say amateurs and <laughs> take a shot at it with my proton pack when I'm dumb, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so it's going to be moves, and if you have fire weapon, I'll use it's that. not. And it's two of these are ghost die, though? Two of those are ghost die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's the, not no, that's ghost, not ghost yeah. die. Everyone got, like, real tense. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, that is going to be eight. Cool. 
Oh, so right, you just right. add them all together. I'm sorry, nine. Nine. Because math is easy. Um, fun. fun. Neither. Uh, you <laughs> hit it. Bam. Uh, <clears throat> and it tries to fly away, but you've got it kind of wrangled. It's still there, though. Uh, the ghost is going to take a turn, and it's going to try and terrorize you. Um, Sweet. Right? That's how I like to do. Let me pull up my thing. Uh, so it is going to make a check against, from its power, against your... Doo -doo 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 -doo, against your cool. Just three. Just three? Okay. Go ahead and roll those three for me, please. Are any of them ghost die, too, again? Uh, no, just I need a number. So if you roll three of the dice, and I'll take the total. All right. <laughs> I got to be the six. <laughs> Could do that with... Ooh, oh, uh, there's a lot of sixes there, guys. Yes. <laughs> I miss being in the GM seats. Uh, and it, and its face elongates and widens, and its teeth go from you know funny round to sharp and pointy, and just slime and phlegm as it shouts at you. You're terrified of it, and you want to get away from it as quickly as possible. I run and go. But I wanted to work at the JPL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. You guys are able to pull yourselves together, get back on your feet. Who wants to go first? I'm used to this. Seeing your friend take off. All right, I'll give it a whirl. All right. All right. Next time I decide we're going to skip target practice, just slap me or something. Uh, okay, so these are both ghosts die, because hilarious. Uh, oh, there's a ghost and a four, so just... We're I, actually doing really great in Ghostbusters terms, yeah, though. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Okay. It's the first yeah. word it's is always very fitting true. with the, like, mashed together, yeah. hashtag LA Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to go viral. It's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot, Peter Venkman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> what, would, what do you think would happen? Oh, I think I hit an errant building in Culver City. Oh, no, I, I, I think like the that. buildings are close together there. I, I think I'm going to hit like something that's been there since like the 40s. Yes, yeah, something that has nice history, <laughs> that's protected, yeah. and worth a lot of money. Yep, yeah, it wouldn't be Ghostbusters if there wasn't just property damage, property damage, property damage. We have insurance for this. We might as well use it. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> Do we? <laughs> No, they don't. Oh, no. All right. All right so, so, just, yeah, the kick on this thing is crazy. There's this really, really old statue, and you just cleave it in half. Ah, Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> no. Oh, we should have the list. <laughs> hey. That's yeah, good. That's a good one. That's true. That's true. Uh, all right. Uh, who else would like to go? Jeez. Oh, well, I, I don't have a weapon, so I feel like I'm going to run back to the car. Um, be back in a flash. Where's everybody going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he runs off back to the car to get a uh, weapon. Uh, are you going to take a shot at it? Oh, yeah, might as well. Right, are you going to get closer to it? It's... How can I possibly do worse than blowing up <laughs> Ricardo Montalban's statue? The beloved Ricardo Montalban statue. <laughs> Famous in Culver's. You yeah. say that, and yeah. You know, it's by the Trader yeah. Joe's. <laughs> over there by the Arclight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> by the Arclight, right off the 405. <laughs> All right, here we go. LA term. <laughs> uh. All right, blast him. Hey, that's hey, pretty good. Hey, that is great. Yeah. Uh, so... Normally with your uh, with the proton pack, you do one point of damage. You already did three points earlier with your boson dart. Uh, you hit it. You wrangle it. Its power was five. It's now reduced down to one. Uh, so it's still kicking. Uh, it's yeah, trying to fly around this little building. I think I got it, guys. One I'm getting shot it. will do it. And now to catch a ghost, you have to have two beams on there. I'm willing to amend that rule. It's in the rule book, but... I've seen Ghostbusters catch ghosts with just one beam, mm -hmm. so you know I'm all right with that. Also, to catch a ghost, you have to think like a ghost. This has been Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you've come back. You've finally got yourself a weapon. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a, a kind of amusing uh, scene where he sees that you've got the ghost kind of on the ropes, and is going back and forth like, I can "Get the trap, or I can get the back. Get the trap, get the back. Get the trap, get the back." Uh, and I get the pack, and then I come sprinting back. Okay. Struggling to get it on. Seeing him running back, uh, it's like, oh, wait, that's right, we have a job. And you turn around, you're like, I I've got a job to do. Um, so my proton pack with the dart upgrade, it needs a break, yeah? It does. But I do have a trap. You do have a trap. 
All right, I'm gonna get up off the ground and dry my eyes and <laughs> run sniffling towards the trap because I'm still pretty scared because I don't like ghosts. Who does? And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna take your shots? Yeah, for sure. Um, and it just moves, right? Because I don't. Moves. Okay, with two ghost eye. So these are my ghost eye. This gothic one is kind of ironically not my ghost eye. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's no, 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 no. I'm good. We're good. Yeah. Great. Ten. All right. So you've got it wrapped up in one beam. You hit it with the other beam. Uh, it's ready for you. Hit the trap. You hit the trap, and <laughs> ghost gets pulled into it. <laughs> beep beep. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Everyone but me did it! <laughs> you kicked the door down. That's true. And you broke a statue. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Everyone uh, <laughs> around there is, is celebrating, like, yeah, you guys got it, you kicked its butt, all right! High fives all around. Everyone is celebrating for now until everything gets on YouTube. Uh, you know what, you can just delete the part where, <coughs> like, when, I, we were, when we got knocked out, just keep the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Give me a cool check. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, cool. And I still use ghost eye for this, right? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So hot ones are still ghost eye. And, uh, wait, no, that's a ghost eye. <laughs> they just laugh at you and <laughs> post it more swiftly and with less editing. Okay, that's well, that's okay. That's what I expected. Just as long as you keep the hashtag, it's very important to building the brand. <laughs> Good or bad? It's very LA. <laughs> the right. brand. <laughs> Uh, as you guys are, are packing up your equipment and getting ready to take off, a uh, woman uh, approaches you. She has blondish hair, about up to the middle of her ear, very closely cut, pixie cut almost. Uh, she approaches um, you, Oscar. She says, uh, hello. Go hello? Down, shake your hand. I'm Mrs. Chambers. I like to hire you, if that's all right. Uh, I think our schedule is <laughs> wide open, so yeah. What are we, opening like a marina or something, or? Uh, no, um, I own the property that had that statue. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sneaking away. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It, it does, and uh, I will be sure to get you in touch with our uh, property claims department. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll sort that out later. Um, what can I do for you, Mrs. Chambers? Of course. Uh, me and my husband, we've recently uh, purchased a hotel in the area. We're renovating it. Um, <clears throat> but unfortunately, we've run into a, um, an issue with the staff. They've been scared off. And I'd like for you to investigate. I mean, we can postpone waiting around our office until another night. I mean, yeah, I think that works. No, no, yeah. I like being postponed. Well, we'll, we'll find another time for that. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, yeah, I guess we're your team. Uh, just don't forget to tweet hashtag Ghostbusters LA. Yeah, so she has no idea what <laughs> tweeting means. She's hired someone young to do that for her. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and she gives you her card and one that has the Twin Oaks Hotel. Not too far from here. Well, thanks for thinking of us. I mean, we are the only <laughs> ghost-busting unit out here, but yeah. Yes, monopolies are great, aren't they? <laughs> it feels pretty good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, what do you say, team? We need five minutes, we'll grab a hot dog wrapped in bacon, head over yeah. there? Anything I mean, but tacos. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling tacos. Yeah, danger dogs. That's where it's at, man. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be there in like twenty minutes. Okay, that's great. great. Now, uh, <laughs> one quick note is for the trap, it can hold up to four ghosts if you catch them all at once. If you open the trap again, it releases what's currently contained. Uh, so you would have to go to your uh, headquarters, unload the trap, or get a fresh one, and then you can. Uh, what part of town and what's the traffic like? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's thankfully not too far. It's okay. just you know down the four hundred five. Oh god, oh, right. what time oh, is no. it? Wait, yeah. what time? Uh, it's about four. Oh, oh no. no! Is it a Friday? Yes. Game We're over. That's Wait, the, yep. that's the entire after you just let this ghost go. <laughs> this is after LA. <laughs> is everyone just before you hit the one hundred and one? Is everyone not in LA enjoying this? No. <laughs> is this just for us? There's, there's a song called "Left My Wallet in El Segundo." That's all you need to know. <laughs> Perfect. 
So, you guys head back to location? Well, we still have one trap that's not been used yet, right? Right. Yeah, but yeah. if there's a whole staff, we should probably go. A whole staff of ghosts? No, well, she said the staff was having problems. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Look, man, I just know I'd rather be prepared and, you know, go in loaded for bear. I'm sorry. Instead uh, of getting caught with a pound Can I get that in French, please? I totally forgot what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> As the staff is having the problems. Oh, sure. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put her on. I on hate this. this. I don't do accents. <laughs> um, it's all right. We'll call them all again. They're then... having a problem with the staff, not that the staff are ghosts. Perfect. Actually, yeah. she didn't really specify. Yeah. For all we know, we could go and bust a whole, you know, motley crew of hotel people. Hoteliers, if you will. <laughs> I'm just kind of generically Beatles, and I don't care. I'm it's great. You're just yeah, swinging it's I'm the Omni Beatle. Look, I'm scurrying between French and German, great. and not even you're, you're a celebrity, so like... Yeah. <laughs> it would be kind of embarrassing if we showed up to catch ghosts and we can only catch one. Yeah, or if we release the ghost. Well, you can't know. we catch seven? Uh, well, well, we could. One trap's... Four. How many traps do we have in the back of this thing? Oh, right. enough, you guys have four traps. One's already used. Oh, I'll snag one too because I only had two pieces a year anyway. So, yeah. so we can catch twelve trap. ghosts if you guys like to group them together. Yeah. So we got two traps that are usable, so we can catch eight if we're really crafty <laughs> with our beams. No, we've got three <laughs> traps that are usable, and we've got one that's currently Correct. got a, oh, right, right. a ghost guest in it, if you will. Yeah. One plus two plus one plus one. No, one ghost plus one math. plus one plus two. <laughs> it's everywhere in this game. All right, so we'll say you guys are going to go to the uh, go back to your headquarters, drop off your stuff, yeah. get some new equipment, mm -hmm. let you guys shift around what you want to take with you. Uh, the room in the back of the Ecto-1 has enough for at least six of the uh, backpack equipments. So you could decide to take four <clears throat> of the slime blowers and then two proton packs, four proton packs, two slime blowers, three and three, whatever. I'm taking a slime blower myself. Good, you can do more damage that way. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the lasery thing because somebody's got to get him in the trap. Okay. Lasery thing. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick with Proton Pack, but I want to put an extra slime blower because if we have to uh, potentially depossess people, that's mm. the go to. Yeah. All oh, right, right. I am going to keep my dot upgrade. All right. So you guys swing back to the station. Janine's waiting there. She is pissed. Just fuming. Who wants to explain it? Explain what? This. Hits a button on her controller, widescreen TV, and it starts playing, you, know, you flying through the air, intercut with you destroying the statue. Janine, um, remember when I was like four and you were watching me and I uh, put those Parkway tokens into the uh, cassette player of your car <laughs> and you got really mad because the radio never worked again? Yes. Focus on that, not this. I love that radio. I mean, I was four. I mean, you should have been watching. It, it's not important. There's good things that happen. We captured a ghost. Yeah. Did you guys invoice the guy? Which which guy? The, Carlos, the one who called us. Oh, right. Uh, I guess we should have gotten paid, huh? I am just the intern. I was just... I, sorry, I got a little excited. <sighs> I mean, we don't do what we do for money, you know. I That's mean, exactly what we do. That's why I'm here. <laughs> it's true. For money. I want to go back to retirement in Canada. It's well, nice. Well, look, man. I mean, like, if that's how you want to live your life, I can't, like, disagree with you, but... Uh, you are disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> Agree to disagree then, I guess. <laughs> but, but we have to go back to that neck of the woods anyway. We have another job. So we'll right, have another right job. Now. Yeah, we'll draw, we'll get the invoice afterward. We'll we'll figure it out. If something happened to the door. Don't believe him if it says it exploded. But yeah, we have another job. Um, and, and I show her the business card from uh, Mrs. Chambers. Mrs. Chambers? Yeah. She's very, very wealthy. Good to know. Well, hotel. we Two she trees. wants to hire us because uh, she said there's a problem with her staff, and for better or worse, we're the Ghostbusters. Oh God. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm trusting jazz you. hands. <laughs> Get paid, please. Otherwise, we're gonna have to close this branch. I mean, that would be terrible for me, but the rest of you would be out of work. Right. We just opened. Yeah. Well. 
<laughs> the rent, I'll raise it then. The rent in LA is ridiculous. ridiculous. No, seriously, I got a place up in Studio City. Yeah. Ridiculous. It's one bedroom. You, you don't want to hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> Drive all the way across town? Oh, God. So people are living by the station. Well, I mean, true. Yeah. they haven't put the bunks upstairs yet because the, the one in New York, there was a pole. It was very. It, no, it, do we get up to be a bad neighbor, right? Of course, he has a pole. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Nice. <laughs> yes. All right. So she throws her hands up. She's done with you. Is there anything you guys would like to do before heading off to uh, the Twin Oaks? Um, well, we have to deposit the ghost. Yeah, course. I'm totally going to drop the... Uh, do you want me to keep talking? Like, Yeah, you've still got middle? time. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to go you know, downstairs to our ghost containment facility and drop off for unwanted guests. Um, and then I'm going to do a Google search of the uh, Twin Oaks Hotel to see if I can find anything about historical interest and ghosts. I feel like I sound like Harry Shearer's character from Spinal Tap, because I'm all <laughs> suggested. Fine. It's fine. Sorry, I'm just going to overthink this the entire no. time. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, watch it on Twitch over and yep. over and over and, again. Yeah, that's, that's my life. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm going to do, man. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to smooth the mean over. You're like, do you need anything? Can I get you like a coffee? You doing great? Oh, okay. Give yeah, me yeah. a oh, cools yeah. check. <laughs> uh, still ghosting it. Still ghosting All it. Right. <clears throat> oh no, extra one. What's up? Hey. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no ghosty ones. So it's a total of all of them, right? So yes. Nine, ten, uh, eleven. Eleven. Right. Uh, she's less mad at you specifically. <laughs> oh, excuse <this is> me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sweet boy. You really are. But oh, that's Ven. Oh, we'll get over it. It's just uh, we got to get over the hump, you know. It's the first time doing it. I normally bartend, so mm -hmm. it's new for me. You know, so. well, you're doing a great job. I don't believe it. I think that's editing, Tri trick editing. <laughs> yep. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. Emily, sure. would you uh, <laughs> would you maybe try to pull uh, um, blueprints to the hotel? I'm gonna check some of the uh, more uh, dark, artsy kind of books to see if there's any ley lines in the area. Unless there's something else you were... No, I was just going to fix my makeup, but <laughs> I guess I can look at blueprints. Perfect. All right, so let's go around the table. Thank you, Jacques. <laughs> Jacques, you're so good. I hate this so much. The wily and the elusive blueprints. Sorry, anyway. Just feel the they're, only... They're actually blueprints. Blueprints. We love our French listeners. <laughs> we love them so much. Yeah, and I'm not making fun of Canadian people with Sven either. I want to make that really clear. <laughs> I love Canadians. Sorry. He's laughing at you, not with you. Oh, wait, no. The other way. Sorry. Strike that. Reverse that. Yeah. All right. So you uh, said you were going to do a quick Google search uh, of, of the... the... The Twin Oaks. Yeah. Okay. You Google it up. Give me a uh, brains check unless you have something for oh, research. Brains is good. Um, and anything that's not the black die or my ghost die. Uh, so that is, what is that? That's 19 all told. All right, that's really good. All right, so with the 19, uh, you find out that it's actually a, a newly renovated um, hotel. It has been there for a very long time. Um, it was part of, you know, historic Culver City, uh, but it's been taken over, and they're updating it and trying to get it marked as a, um, a landmark, as it were, as a historical landmark. Uh, they have taken control of it about three years ago, okay. uh, and it is owned by her and her husband. Okay. Okay. Uh, any history of paranormal activity that I'm able to? F uh, uh, sorry, are there any, <laughs> is there any history of any sort of odd phenomenon, man? Uh, unfortunately, you don't see anything of odd phenomenon on Google. Sorry. That's a bummer. I mean, it's on page two, but you know, no one goes there. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I can't be bothered. No. It's practically the dark web. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Jumping over here, uh, and you're gonna look for blueprints. Yes. Am I able to find any of the blueprints? Blueprints. Uh, go Even ahead. Even though I am a scientist and not a larvae scientist. True. Uh, give me a brains. Researching skills are important in all fields. That's true. <laughs> Quiet, Oscar. We still got <laughs> two ghost eye? Yes. Uh, how much time is this on? Uh, you guys, it'll beep in a second. Okay. 18. Literally 30 seconds. Oh, 18. Yep. 18? That's a monster Wowzer. Yep. I'm glad um, that, you know, in our downtime, we're having all these phenomenal roles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did okay. I mean, that's really kind of what the Ghostbusters yeah. did. Yeah. They like did a bunch of research yeah. and true. then choked in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, you find the old blueprints, new blueprints. You've got all the blueprints at your disposal. 
Uh, go ahead and give me a roll real quick to see if there's anything in the dark arts. Okay, so I, I just because just I wrote this pun down, I have to do it. I'm going to use the uh, Los Angeles equivalent of Tobin Spirit Guide, which is the Thomas Spirit Guide. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. That's, a, that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. Um, so can I use my occult on this? You certainly can. Uh, that's going to end the ghost die portion. Uh, you got five minutes cool. left on your voice, and you have eight minutes left on yours. Cool. So I get to roll seven dice on this. Only one is a ghost die. All right. Yeah. Oh my god, I got a ghost. Cool. <laughs> I'm not... I All can't. Right. So it's just a flat fail because of that one? No, it's not a flat okay. fail. Okay. No, it's the opposite. Right. Okay. It's a complication. Okay, thank god. Because It's like you're trying to study the occult, but you really have to go to the bathroom really bad. Okay, I got 22 <laughs> otherwise. 22 and a ghost. 22 and a ghost. So that is uh, a success. You find a... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Stay there and I think about what you did. Roll the six. <laughs> it likes the pain. It's repentant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's back. Sorry. Right. Uh, <laughs> so looking up, yeah, of course you've heard of uh, different hauntings that uh, either could be a whole staff of people or it could be one uh, ghost that is just very, very active. Um, unfortunately, with that ghost eye, you're unable to pin down which one it is. Uh, not only that, you read a passage from a book you probably shouldn't have read. <laughs> Green swirling lights start to emanate from the book. What do you do? <laughs> slam it shut and put it back on the shelf. Okay, you slam it shut, put it back on the shelf, and we'll deal with it later. <laughs> and nothing happens. I didn't do anything. Hey, are no we one. ready to go? <laughs> What's yeah. that smell, man? Not, uh, I mean, ecto sulfur. <laughs> Sounds like a thing. Thing, yeah, right? such as he made up with. Ah. No, <laughs> almost a weird catalog phenomenon. I mean, back in the set, I'll, I'll stop. Sorry. <laughs> it's great. It's great for drama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so you gather up. You've got your blueprints. You've got uh, some of your books. Are you taking with you? Are you taking a little mini library? Uh, I, uh, I I know how to download the important passages on my phone. Oh, good. They, you, they've scanned them. Yeah. <laughs> the PDF yeah. <laughs> Necronomicon The online. intern probably scanned <laughs> yeah. them last yeah. week. That's how we lost the intern. <laughs> That's why we needed a new one. <laughs> yeah, but not like they died. Like, we literally lost oh, the yeah. intern. Yeah, we sometimes hear them howling in the middle of the night. Nobody. Nah. Just voice from the walls and in your brain. We'll find them one of these days. PK like picks up nothing. nothing. <laughs> All right. But it's worth three credits. <laughs> right? Hey, I just want to graduate. <laughs> All for all say? <laughs> no, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's Dre. Yeah, je vis Dre. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire graduate? Graduate. Comment dit ton Throw it in chat, folks. Yes. Uh, we're going to have the entire chat just in French. <laughs> Some new person's going to show up like, what's going on? Is I thought this was in English. <laughs> I'm messing with their settings for an hour. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys head off, it's maybe about 6 o'clock by the time you arrive. Sun's going down. Still rushing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just... Waze took us just unbelievable route. Yeah, you thought it was going to be faster, and just everywhere you turn, traffic, traffic, traffic. And no one one make a less on Wilshire. <laughs> <laughs> no one's letting me in. <laughs> oh, LA. Yeah. All right, so finally you guys arrive. Uh, the building is wedge-shaped. It is six stories tall. Uh, very beautiful against the backdrop. Uh, it had a statue. Um, <laughs> it's currently draped over with tarp and uh, tape. Like fix it. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, little glue. glue. Um, as you guys depart from the uh, the vehicle, are you taking any equipment with you, or are you going to just do a quick scan and then come back to the car to get your stuff? I'm taking the same equipment. Well, maybe. Yes, maybe I think we well. should take equipment. We do yeah. not have a very good track record. Mm -hmm. All right, what equipment will you be taking? I'm going to take the PK meter again. I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> I'm going. I'm going <laughs> to take the PK meter Thank again. You. I'm going to take the slime blower, and then I'm going to take my goggles. All right. All right. Uh, uh, this is the proton pack, no attachments, goggles, and a trap. No attachments. Raw. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take proton pack, walkie-talkie, and uh, a second PKE meter. Okay. I would take a trap and my proton pack, and is 
they don't upgrade one item or... It does not count as an item, it is just an upgrade to the existing item. All right, put them back with the dot upgrade and goggles. Wait, did I say goggles? Yes. Uh, swap out goggles for a walkie-talkie, because otherwise sorry, you're walkie-talkie. <laughs> So I'm going to swap out my goggles for a walkie-talkie, otherwise his walkie-talkie's pointless. He could call the cops with that, I guess. <laughs> and there's nothing sadder than a, 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 a walkie-talkie who's got no mate. Mm-hmm. And that's in it for your voice. You know what I mean, eh? Oh! Oh, oh. God. Oh, I it's missed like, the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He just wouldn't shut up, and he was so self-righteous, you know? Was he? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, anyway. Didn't that's, notice. That's my take on John Lennon. You're doing great. Oh. Yay! Two minutes, 40 seconds for you, and then you're done. <laughs> Thank you, folks, really. Yes. I'll for all the donations. No. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, that's copy. All right. Come on back now. All you need is love. <laughs> what did it feel what? like? <laughs> <laughs> what did it feel like to, like, be possessed? Was it... Was it cool? Well, I mean... I mean, you know, it was like I was there, but like five feet back. Sorry, five meters back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, which is actually substantially more than five feet, but that's okay, whatever. Um, and I mean, it's not like it was bad. I mean, it's certainly not like what Oliver had when he was a little guy. Eh? Oscar. Oscar, whatever. <laughs> what a twist. Your brain uh, is still uh, yeah. a little oh, possessive. Man. God, somebody give me a piece of paper real quick. I got an idea for a song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some plasm in your ear. Yeah. Yeah. All right. As you guys enter the building, uh, see, it's a very beautiful. Oh, J. Jay Matthews. Matthews. Thank Jay you for the reset. We still have that reroll just so y'all. Oh, oh, we forgot about that. <laughs> I just thought that was there. I know, because it's a star. <laughs> Some bombs. So, yeah. Um, Let's go. Yes, so you guys enter uh, it's a beautiful, ornate ballroom. Uh, and see beyond, looks like a, pulls up. Uh, beyond, you see uh, something called the Crystal Dining Room. Uh, leading up, it looks like it goes to the Velvet Lounge. Oh. To the right, you see a very young man and woman standing behind a check-in desk. Uh, elevators to their left. Oh, uh, what would you what would you do? <laughs> Hello, we're the Ghostbusters. Yeah, you guys are definitely the face. Yeah. No offense. No yeah. taking. <laughs> um Mrs. Chambers hired us. I think we're expected. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice place you got here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh oh. one second. Okay. You're gonna take the elevator to the second floor and make a left. Mrs. Chambers' office is right there. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hey. Stay safe. No one knows what's gonna happen in here today. Wait, I saw you on YouTube. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Saw me get the guy and put him in the. I was like, no, you went t- flying. It was wonderful. It was the- Do you want me to take a picture of uh, the two of you together? Yes, please. All right. I'll take it. Yeah. Say Ghostbusters hashtag LA. Perfect. That's how it works, right? Yep. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Great. No, so it's actually hashtag Ghostbusters LA. Well, you know, it's fine. Well, I never understood it. how it works. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So branding. You tag me with that? Of course. Of course. <laughs> and that ends the French portion. Thank God! <laughs> Emily says out loud <laughs> from five feet away from all of you. <laughs> five meters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you all. All right. So, you guys take the elevator up, goes up one floor. Uh, when you get to the second floor, you see what well, looks like a arrow's pointing. To the left to what's called the ante room, another one to something called the purple room, and something called the studio. Uh, further beyond that, you see uh, arrows leading you to the chamber's office. The chamber's chambers, if you will. I will. I won't. I assure you. <laughs> the table is split. All is perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, why don't you guys go on ahead and talk to the chambers? I'm going to get a scan of some of these other rooms, and I'll... Get you on the walkie-talkie if I find anything, all right? Sounds good. All right. I'll, I'll go with Sven. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want people to associate my face with you guys too much. <laughs> just keep your goggles on yeah, the entire goggles time. Yeah, goggles on. Nice. I'm trying to get a job at NASA after this, guys. <laughs> smart, smart. Uh, thank Space you, Jay Matthews. They're giving us another reroll for the table. Remember? Hey, great. Thank you, too. Yeah, don't worry. That's going to come into play soon. I have oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I betcha. <laughs> all right. So... Half of you, which one of you are going to chambers? You two? The talkers. The talkers, the faces. <laughs> All right. Talkers and door kickers. 
<laughs> and you two are going to split up, or are you guys going to stay together we're just doing stay scans? Together. Yeah, we're going to yeah. stay together. We're just going to, you know, scout out the other rooms. All right. You'll do less damage that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or, or more, because there's two of us. That's true. Double the damage. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do you two first. Okay. So as you guys begin to uh, walk about meander, you're using the PKE meter? Yep. All right. And uh, you're just using the goggles to see if there's anything yep, in this. Just casually joint here. looking around. All right, casually looking around. Okay, uh, taking your PKE scans, and you're getting faint signatures of something. There's definitely been activity in this area, not necessarily on this floor, but in the area. All right. It's like background music. I mean, there's something here, but it's not very loud, at least not right here. Uh, it sounds like it's uh, you f do when you go up, you go down, uh, and it feels like it's getting stronger beneath you. Oh boy, <laughs> not like directly beneath you, but like right. It's yeah, yeah, it's probably in the basement. These things often are, eh? Yeah, why don't we check out the other rooms? We'll save that for last, regroup before. Oh, you don't want to just go down there, you and no, me? No, I don't. No, you don't think I don't that's a good idea? I don't even want to be here. All right, no, you made that abundantly clear. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying it until you guys fire me. Uh, there was a bar, right? We passed a bar on the way in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kid, but you're not. <laughs> I'm super not kidding. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a brains that's check, please, sweet. and thank you. Um, is there a ghost die? There is always one ghost die. Cool. No matter what. Uh, no ghost, but nine. No, no, that's perfect. Uh, so you roll a nine, and you actually see with your goggles on, even though you weren't looking for it actively, uh, do you see a, an ectoplasmic schmear? Hey, Sven. Yeah? There's some sort of schmear <laughs> is the scientific term. Kind of, I don't know, I saw it over there. Like, like cream cheese? Yeah, yeah, exactly like cream cheese, Sven. Yep, it yep. kicks up. Um, you see the wall, it's got a slight glisten to it. Okay. Go touch it, Sven. <laughs> All right. Totally <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> not squeamish about it. Okay. I mean, I do like put on a glove or something, but yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, it, whatever it was, it feels like it's hardened. Well, that's, that's something else, eh? All right. Hey guys. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we got some goo over here in the uh, velvet room. Schmear. Schmear, sorry, the scientific term is schmear. Uh, uh, what color? What color? <laughs> uh, it is clear. Uh, it's clear. <laughs> oh, clear schmear? Yeah, clear schmear. <laughs> oh boy. I guess we're from me. here. <laughs> but it, it kind of hardened like that stuff that you used to put on your ice cream, you know, when you were a little A. Uh, you know, like magic shell. <laughs> yeah. Magic you shell. crack it with a spoon. Exactly. Uh, so I'm going to take a sample, and uh, I'll report back later, okay? Sounds good. All right. Nice. Very cool. Uh, the schmear is near. <laughs> the schmear is near. Schmear, schmear's here. Yeah. You guys well, near for us, here for you. Yeah. <laughs> schmear, far, wherever, wherever you are. are. It's okay. There's nothing that's fear. Have no fear. Schmear is here. <laughs> you do this all night. Oh, yeah. You got puns. All year. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not. Do you want a beer? I'm really not. I still love you. Need my head clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop. We gotta get back to this. Yeah. Come on. Okay. All right. Okay. This is what it's like when I run games. They go off the rails. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys were seated outside of the office. You're given waters. You sit there, kind of awkwardly, on this little love seat. Um, before long, after here. Walk talkies have gone off. Silence again. Uh, the young receptionist uh, looks up at you. Uh, Mr. Chambers is ready for you. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, these are heavy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys walk into Mrs. Chambers' office, and it is very sparse. There's very few things that she has in there. Uh, desk, two chairs in front. They are white, and they look very uncomfortable. Um, Give me cool checks for cool the check. Okay. God, I really want both ghosts die to be active right now for some reason. Uh, 13. 6, 7, uh, uh, 8. Okay, you both can deduce that 
It's a power play, these chairs. <laughs> ah, no, I've been into some casting offices like this. <laughs> they want us to suffer. I mean, we're carrying 90 pound packs on our back. Let's just stand and say it's easier. Ah, yeah, power yeah. move. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, it's warm. Oh, don't be a baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello? Yes. Hi. Sorry, I was finishing something up. Ah, thank you for seeing me. She gets up and shakes your hand. Our Have a seat. My pleasure. Oh, thank you. Oh, th I'm gonna. T it took us 20 minutes to stand with these last time. I'm gonna. Pretty hefty. Yeah. Oh, I thank understand. you. It's a momentum thing. Yeah. Of course. Of our, course. our health plan is terrible. Well, thank you for seeing me. I I do appreciate it. Uh, she reaches into her drawer and pulls out a, a envelope and hands it across to you. Uh, so here is what we've been dealing with. Um, we believe it to be a single specter. Um, and if you guys open the folder and look at the images, uh, you see really poor, uh, grainy pictures of somebody, two arms, two legs. Um, immediately for you guys, that puts it at least at a class seven. Mm -hmm. oh. So uh, who, uh, who took these pictures? Oh, this is our security cameras. This is, we were able to get, there was normally a flicker of some kind, and then we were able to grab this from amongst the distortion. Can I make some sort of roll? Like, is it common that this sort of thing would pick up on camera? Like, is it something that I would know? Sure. Uh, you don't even have to make a roll for that. Okay. Uh, yes, you know that uh, catching phenomenon on something okay. on camera is totally normal, and even digitally okay. it is. Or else we wouldn't have so many ghost chasing shows. Yeah. But do they ever actually catch <laughs> yeah. anything? Yeah, those are in their just dust, y'all. They're just <laughs> dust. They wouldn't have 13 seasons if they weren't real. Come right. on. It's a raccoon. Except for that one I saw <laughs> my son's baby monitor that one night that he actually reacted to. That's another story. And that's story. Twitter, Tweet guys. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be on our Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> it's unlockable. $300 for that ghost story. <laughs> We'll turn down the studio lights and give you a flashlight. Um, Does the ghost look familiar at all? Yeah. Uh, now that will take an occult roll. Um, <laughs> go ahead and give it to me. All right, cool. Uh, so, Here's so if it's your talent, then you add add three. Three. <laughs> all righty. Um, there we go. Let's do it. So, yeah. Cool. That's a pretty big one. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 26. 26. Uh, looking at it, it doesn't look like a ghost that you would have seen before, but you uh, are able to deduce from the image and your you know, studying of the occult that it is possibly a class seven anchored apparition, full torsoed. This sucker's anchored. Ooh. Um, how long, uh, when was this first spotted? Uh, first recorded uh, appearance um, was shortly after we actually opened the hotel. That was a few years ago? That was last year. Last year. Uh, any stories that predate your owning of the hotel? Any similar phenomenon? I mean, it is old land, so no. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, we're going to just do a couple of routine checks. Is that all right by you? Of course. Uh, we do have some guests, and I would ask that you not disturb them, if at all oh, possible. Oh, that's fine. I actually <laughs> want to use the PKE meter in her office. Okay. Um, I do that. You, you just... <clears throat> while well, yeah. well, you're yeah. doing that, I'll try to distract her with conversation. Well, that's so why I asked permission. Yeah, to, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. It's nothing to worry about, really. I mean, it's going to be fine. Yes, you're distracting her. No one's even gonna know where you are. I also am charming, so like, oh. if you need me to do a thing, I can do a thing. No, no, it's uh, she's <laughs> off put by it because anyone just walking up and scanning you. I mean, it's it's and the whole office, and you know, I'm getting the full. Okay. Uh, there could be schmears here. I'm gonna <laughs> stop there. <laughs> no, where? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm giving it a little scan around. Okay, you give it a quick scan, um, and. You don't necessarily see any higher activity in the office itself, uh, but it does perk up a little bit around her. Hmm. Uh, Nothing to worry about. about that. <laughs> Nothing's gonna. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's just the reaction yeah, for it's, humans. Like, so it's probably residuals off of us or yeah. something. It's, like, it's nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, no one's gonna know where we were here. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> here, uh, she reaches into her pocket and hands you one pass. Uh, it's a key card that allow you into the more restricted areas, but not to any of the rooms because, you know, privacy and what have you. 
Uh, right now, the penthouse is open. There is no one staying in it. So you may use that as your base of operations, as it were. Thank okay. you. Uh, mini bar access, is that complimentary? Uh, aren't you on the clock? I mean, the snacks, nuts. but you know. Those nuts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, great. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Chambers. And uh, I kind of give you a let's regroup yeah. with them. Thank you so Look. much. Thank you. As soon as we get outside the door. Yo, she's a ghost. Dude. <laughs> she's a ghost. Dude. She's a ghost. She's a ghost, bro. She's a ghost. Did you see that? Did you see the picture, man? Yeah, it's yeah. Like a class seven, yeah. full torso. I know, yeah, I, there. Okay. Um, Dude, that thing is heated. Hey, uh, guys. Yeah. Hey, are you still near the schmear? Sorry for rhyming. Uh, no, we uh. Uh, we're we're investigating activity in the bar towards the front. Um, <laughs> Anything you know interesting there? <laughs> well, it's happy hour. Oh, okay, great. Uh, you know, we're just uh, yeah, we're having a beer, all right. All right. Um, hey, where was where did you spot the 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 schmear? Hold on, I'll be back. Uh, meet me in the purple room. Okay, so we'll meet them in the purple room. Okay, I almost said purple. Purple. So you guys, uh, the purple room is just that. It is a uh, looks like a tea room. Uh, very sparse tables uh, every so often, but very high back to purple chairs. The walls, everything in purple, curtains, purple everywhere. It's like this, grimace. This is a nice hotel, but the <laughs> chairs here are terrible. Yeah. I should have seen the ones in Ghost Lady's office. Wait, hold what? on, what? Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to show you the readings on the PKE meter, but yeah, this is from Mrs. Chambers. From her actual body. Yeah. Oh, that's not normal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what does that mean? I mean, look, ghosts love hotels. It's like it's like they're Starbucks for whatever reason. It's always, oh, there's all people with history and, and theater stories. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's candy to them. So, Wait, I do, mean. Do you show me a picture of the other ghost, though? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a class seven full torso anchored entity. Yeah. But, that's what we said. Wait a sec. That ghost doesn't quite. Do you think those readings that you picked up on her could have been like some sort of possession or something? Eh? I mean, it's always possible. I mean, you two have been possessed more recently than I have. Do I mean, do what do you think? Knowledge of possessions? Oh, do we? I mean, do you is know that a cult? Yes. Well, we wouldn't uh, know necessarily. Yeah. I don't know. Have you guys tried scanning yourself? I felt it. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we should, we should scan. I'm gonna scan a room. Okay. Yeah, I'll roll for parapsychology for sure. I can't stop it. <laughs> 18 for possession knowledge. Uh, you know that, yes, it is totally possible for someone to be possessed uh, by a ghost if it's actually one of the most common things you see in hauntings, which is why they developed the slime blower for those uh, events. No more priests. Now you get a slime. You're good. You guys met right. Dr. Stans. He got possessed, like, all the time. Like, the other guys used to just, you know, if he drop a pencil, they're like, oh, what's the matter, Ray? Possessed? It's just, it's... It's not fun. It happened to me as a kid. Nice. It's like, it's like ear like infections. This. You just get them all the time. Yeah. I like these industry stories. Don't get me started on your infections. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, you guys scan yourselves? Yeah. Sure. Or uh, over the meter. You guys mm -hmm. uh, peek up the same level as a. Uh, as a giant party later. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Thank you. Good to see you. See you. See you. <laughs> see you seeing me. There we go. That'll stick. It sounds Ooh. creepy when you say it. It like. does. It really does. Imagine I said something that was not creepy. Anyway, go on. <laughs> you want to use a reroll for that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, you guys peaked the same way that uh, Miss Chambers did. All right. Look, I, uh, I'm a little wary of blowing our host with slime. You know, kind of on our first date, as it were. <laughs> oh wow, that came out wrong, eh? <laughs> Maybe a little. But that's okay. Just keep rolling. What I meant to say was, perhaps... <laughs> no, you, you got it right on the first try. Uh, <laughs> perhaps we should continue our investigation, and then we can revisit this whole possession issue. Right. Well, well, you guys aren't possessed anymore, right? No. And you're still showing some residuals? Yeah, right. it's latent. So maybe she was possessed, now she's not. not. What if she was possessed when she came to see us? Like a mm. trap? Mm. Are we being trapped right now? Ah, oh, trapped. Well, we gotta find this class seven wherever it well, is. What did you guys find though? Well, schmear. Yeah, I produced the glove with the kind of hardened schmear on it. That's nothing. That's spackle. There was a. It was a little situation. Look, we got a pretty strong reading from down below. We were gonna wait for you guys to come back before we went and checked it out because 
you know, wisely, we thought it was smart. not a good idea yeah. to go on our own. All right, well, we got a key card. We can go basically anywhere now. All right, well. Oh, and we free ran to the penthouse, but we're supposed to stay away from the mini bar, but whatever. They won't know. I doubt the beer that I've been drinking at the bar. Well, there's no one she at was the bar. This is the purple room. You guys have privacy. Oh, that's right, yeah. The bar is downstairs. That's right. All right. Well. All right, well, uh, you lead the way since you had the readings for the downstairs, and... Uh, All right, so, yeah. yeah. We got your back. Maybe ratchet it down a notch. All right, fine, that's fine. <laughs> Here, low, <laughs> ominous humming. It's a sizzle. You're at, like, a seven now, and I need you at, like, a four. But, you know, whatever. Okay, there there we go. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. you got to give it room to build. Because I'm sure we're going to get there. I mean, there's plenty more statues for me to destroy. All right. All right, so you guys hop back in the elevator, or are you guys going to take the stairs? <laughs> oh, we got to take the stairs. That's classic Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down yeah. is easier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe too easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you folks descend the stairs. Uh, you guys are back in the grand lobby. Um, following your PKE meters, uh, you are taken straight past the main check-in desk into a room that looks like it's more expensive than any of you could ever afford. Uh, crystal chandelier, just the most giant, ornate, this is gonna be safe, uh, chandelier, <laughs> crystal uh, flatware, what have you, all on the tables. This is called the crystal room, who knew? <laughs> Continue on, you see a uh, set of stairs and a red pulsing light emanating from it. There's a sign next to it that says Velvet Room. It's got a little L-shaped arrow. Is the red pulsing light natural, or <laughs> can I roll for that? <laughs> uh, okay. What do you want? Give me a science... Brains check, sorry. Brains. Can it be a science talent? Yeah, go ahead and give me science. Yay. Look, all I'm saying is all these crystals are going to amplify whatever's here already. I'm telling you things you already know, but... <laughs> Crystal science is real. Can you believe there's people who live Is like that this? the pink one? Uh, you don't have who to do this. I don't know. Me someday. Great. Here's this open, is the right? crystal. Yeah. Understood. Because right. I only have one green. And I totally counted what that was and then forgot it. Oh, seven, eight. It's seven. okay. You got 24. Sure. That sounds right. I only got to seven. <laughs> That's why um, he's the ghost master. Common core math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, no, that lighting is just a UV light, from what you can tell. Oh, I'm really glad I got the 24 on the UV lighting yeah. check. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's just. You're gonna wear light. sunscreen. All right, so uh, who's going to ascend the stairs first? I just look at each other. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Ah, yes. it is. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> okay. All right. So someone's got to do it. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'll 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 take the stairs. Okay. PKE. Yep. And goggles or just PKE? Just PKE. Just PKE. Okay. You ascend the stairs and uh, you can hear it soft jazz music playing as you climb up. It's almost as if there was like a, as if they built this area so the audio doesn't carry beyond the stairs. Which is brew? As you continue up, uh, it's very nice, very posh. Uh, Yeah, it is very reminiscent of a speakeasy. Um, There is just one problem. All of the cups, you see several pillars, as it were, of cups, shot glasses, what have you, dotted Mm. around the room. And your thing oh, is sorry, just... <laughs> yeah. So wait, I'm, I'm having a hard time envisioning it. These are like floating glasses, you're saying? No, you're stacked. Saying? Okay. Poltergeist. Oh, style. got it, got it. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. No one stacks much like this, yeah, right? Exactly, right, right, yeah, exactly. Right, <laughs> exactly. Uh, we got stacking. Yeah, we're right behind you. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I was caught up in the moment. Uh, well, you know, something's here. Gonna argue that it don't look good. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice. Something probably knows we're here too, so we might as well uh, just uh, come on in Thank and say you. hi, huh? Thanks. SF Giant, love you. 
Well, go on, go on. Yeah. I mean, you already knew there was something going, all right, all right. Here. Get her, Sven. <laughs> yeah. Get her. Get her. <laughs> uh, is there a bar in this? There is room? a bar to the right. So uh, the room itself is roughly twenty feet across, uh, but it is much longer than it is wide. Uh, it's about a hundred feet long. At the very end, in the far left corner, you can see a stage where musicians could do live music. Uh, along the walls are booths so that people could sit for privacy. They're very reminiscent of a speakeasy setup. To the right, you have a small bar. Looks like it can house about three bartenders. Um, top of the line, uh, dispensers. So you can tell they put some money into this. Um, the tables and chairs have been stacked and are put to the side, but that looks like it was done by the staff, okay. not paranormally. Uh, mm -hmm. But you do see, again, these pillars of plates, cups. And we heard music before? And you do still hear soft music. Looks like maybe someone left the radio on. Perhaps. Oh, okay. I was going to use my Oh, yeah. Listen. Totally a radio. <laughs> totally a radio. <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna come, I have a listen talent. Can oh, yeah. I, may I make a listen? Oh, right. I have that too. Uh, Roll. You do it. You're better at it. Oh, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. You're uh, great right. at other things. I try. <laughs> Real quick, SF Giant has given us another reroll. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank right. you. Alright, here's a bunch of dice. No, I'm really not afraid of any ghosts. Uh, which that's one is your ghost? Okay. Three times. Yeah, that's that's uh, three. That's yeah, ten, uh, twelve. Twelve. Uh, twelve, you hear singing. So <laughs> no, no, it, it sounds vaguely... Wishful thinking. Eastern European. Oh. My people. <laughs> yeah, you can't quite place it or understand what they're saying, but you're like... I hear something. It's not English. Um, it's definitely not French. I've been listening for that for a while. I take out my <laughs> phone and I shazam it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shazam's like, I don't know. Okay, I don't that's know, fine. <laughs> like, literally, that's what the shazam does. Like, I don't know. Man. <laughs> cool. Um, hey, who's good at foreign languages? Well, better yet, who's good at evil languages? Evil languages. Oh, yeah. I'll give it a go. Oh, what is that? That's oh, very difficult. <laughs> uh, I can only read it. I can't speak you, it. You, Oscar. I mean, you. Would parapsychology be suitable here? Uh, yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> Red die is the ghost die here. None of us took social sciences. Oh, okay. Oh, we well, so that's 7, 9, 11, 13, 16, 17 with a complication. Yes. I'm not going to re-roll it. I'm going to take it. re-roll it. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's better to be interesting than good. Yeah. But I also want to use those. But I'm going to wait until I really screw up. Combat. Yeah. Good. We'll get there. So you are, are trying to listen in as hard as you can. You're opening yourself up to it. Uh, I'm inviting it in. Inviting it <laughs> in. Yeah. I'm just really uh -huh. kind of allowing it to take hold of me. <laughs> and your eyes kind of go fuzzy in the middle distance. And you stay there. Suddenly, the... Plates, the cups, they begin to sh 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 they begin to rattle and shake. The lights are still red, but the hue gets darker and begins to like pulse, almost like a heartbeat. Okay. Suddenly, <laughs> uh, suddenly you see all of the plates just erupts outward and starts swirling around the room. They're gonna come flying at you, fast and furious. So, uh, TM. Oh, no. So let's go ahead and give me some moves check. Oh. And if you take dodge as no, a moves. No. All right. But I have kicked things over. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to jump on Van Damme? It's... No, I want to kick over a table that we can oh, use as a barricade. I will, yeah, go oh. for it. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I, I like my idea better, but you know. I do too, but realistically, I don't think that's in character. It's so. like that, old, that Kung Fu NES game where you have to kick all the pots going <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my, wow. What'd you get? I got a lot of high numbers. I got 22, 23, 24, 25. 25. Save us, Tell me Oscar. what happens, Oscar. Uh, okay, so I see I see um, uh, Sven's eyes glaze over and the uh, everything starts to rattle. And um, yeah, I just kind of kick it over, kick over a table that's, that hasn't been cleared away and instinctively yell, hit the deck. And I, I pull Sven down because I'm not sure he can react just yet. Okay, just then as you pull Sven down where you were, uh, four plates hit the uh, the table, shatter. Uh, you guys are completely unharmed. Uh, you two, 
Give me a uh, moves check. Are you guys going to dive behind cover, or are you going to uh, go behind the bar? I'm diving behind the bar, yeah. Dive behind the bar. <laughs> Natural, I feel it. <laughs> I'm going to go space. for the table. <laughs> okay. All right, this is going to be good. Twelve. Okay. Eight. Twelve and eight. Okay, you manage to get behind the uh, the table, no problem. As you run and dive for the bar, uh, you get pegged twice Ooh. on the side. Uh, so for this, normally you would take trait damage unless you want to spend... Uh, brownie points. I would take what kind of damage, were you saying? Trait damage. So your actual oh, traits right. would go down during combat. If you get to zero, you're out. Never. <laughs> brownie points. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. You rolled eight. Mm -hmm. How many brownie points would you like to sacrifice? Uh, how, how, many, how many? Oh, wait, wait. So how does this work? So You say how many brownie points you'd like to roll, and you're going to go ahead and roll those dice. Oh, to, to, to boost success, what you got. Basically. Exactly. Any damage takes trait damage, right? Is that what you're right. Saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to roll some more. Uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use two. Two should be two should be sufficient, right? Yeah. I would hope. Two's good. I mean, I have a lot of brown Snake eyes. Right snake eyes. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. What'd Ten you, more. Ten more? That's plenty. As you fly over, you manage to grab the, the edge of the bar that it has the little flap that comes up. Nice. You pull it open, the plates hit against that instead. So these things are flying around. The music is now booming. Uh, that soft jazz is now just screeching jazz. So it's just jazz. Um, what are you guys going to do? You, as you hit the deck, come out of it. What the hell? Oh, you okay? Oh, I guess not, eh? We got plates. Oh, geez. All right. <laughs> got plates. Cool. Um, well, shoot. Are we trained for this part? <laughs> he shouts over the bar. Yeah. Well, Emily is softly hyperventilating. <laughs> Do you have a slime blower? I have a slime blower, yeah. I think you should uh, douse the plates. Yeah. yeah I don't okay. Uh, I'm not telling you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, I, I was. Never mind what I was going to do. Yeah, I'm going to pop up over the table and then just kind of give the area a, a spray. A, yes. Hose it all down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to slime. Slime it. <laughs> slime it. All right. Uh, so you pop up and immediately uh, three plates are going to come right at you. Okay. Uh, I want you to give me a move check to dodge them. Okay. Uh, the red's the ghost eye. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. That's 12, eh? It's a good roll. 12, Ed. yes. Uh, unfortunately, no. I'm going to use a re-roll. Yeah. yeah. Let's take the sharp Yeah, the, the ninja star. Thank you. Thank you for Time reading my to mind. succeed. Okay, that's not as great a roll, but it's it's not a complication. <coughs> 10. 10? Yeah. Uh, just enough. They whiz by your head, barely dodging, and you just psh, unleash. Go ahead and give me a uh, moves check to... Uh, just hose down the area. Okay, uh, so that is 11. 11 is great. You managed to coat one side of the room, no problem. You've removed half of the spinning plates and, and cups and what have you. What about the rest of you? What are you going to do? A little help. I'm going to pop the goggles down. Okay. I'm going to get a serving tray for protection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to pop up and take a look and see if I can see anything weird. Okay. Besides flying cups. More cups going to come flying at you. Uh, three, I'm going to go ahead and give you a bonus die because you are using the uh, the tray for defense. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, complications. I'm going to, can I use a reroll too? Do you guys mind if I do? You do you, man. Do it, man. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die here. All right. Not like We're this. dying Culver City. <laughs> oh, nothing against Culver City. Death by Culver City against slam. Culver City. All right. So it's going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. You come up, and what would have been a perilous hit, you managed to raise it and hit the other one. Uh, you're looking at it with the goggles, and you see the same person uh, from the picture. Um, it looks like a man with a huge gash on the back of his head is just whipping plates and cups everywhere. Guys, it's the apparition. We got the apparition here. He's throwing just a lot of cups. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Wait, the class seven? The class seven. Anchored, full body apparition. Really good at plate throwing. Cool, you ready to shoot some stuff? Yeah, I got the I got the dart upgrade. I, I hyperventilate. The, I've got the regular. <laughs> okay. Yep. So you guys pop up in you fire! <laughs> yeah. You don't see him! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We can guess where the plates are coming from. He well, did say well, the he plates are swirling around. You can triangulate, or yeah, you can. Can we look right there. Yeah. before we fire? Huh? Can we look before we fire? Oh, of course. I'm just saying. As you look, you don't see him. Oh. 
But we see the trajectory that the plates are coming because he did well, say they're throwing. Yeah, he's whipping them around, as in like uh, you've seen the, the the Mickey Mouse the, the thing where he's a sorcerer. Oh wait, yeah. but I have goggles on. Oh, you have goggles on? Yeah, then yes, you do I'm see him. I'm sorry. You're absolutely Then right. I'm going to follow your lead. <laughs> yeah. I want to say it's right there. Here's hoping you don't ghost this one. I love it. Go ahead and take a shot. Um, Moves, oh, please. What am I doing? Three plus a ghost? Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Oh, one for the ghost. And oh, that's no. A bad roll to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to use our last free roll unless everybody's okay with it, though. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Okay. okay. From we'll a storytelling the... perspective, yeah. this is just fine. All right. <laughs> so your boson dart goes. Oh, you're using it? Okay. Am I? Mm -hmm. I thought you said oh, you no, were. I thought okay. you said you were. No, I won't. Oh, wait, no, I thought you said you were. I'm sorry. Either way. Do you know hold you, on, I'm not telling, on. I'm not okay. telling you how to play your character. What would you like I to do? I would prefer to, but if... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Then okay. you have everyone's yeah, consent. That is much wow. better. Wow! Whoa! Uh, that's... 16, no? Uh, that is 16, 16. Yes. 16. Nice. I can simple math. So, uh, your boson dart flies true. It... You see the apparition light up and... Ah! Scream in pain gives you enough shot to take one. Go for it, sir. Uh, moves, moves. Oh, oh boy, like two dice on this. Oh, and oh, oh, I gotta out. use the dialect. I know, but it, it jumped out and was a one. But I will honor the house rules. <laughs> We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Six and a ghost. If only you guys had more re rolls. <sighs> well, if only any of us had thought to take fire weapon. <laughs> <laughs> We were all like, charm person, that would be great. Like, Cobble, Cobble food. food. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. That's it, you're done. You know more game for you. That's right. Uh, so yeah, That's six and a, and a ghost. Six and a ghost. Okay. You fire, and again, you, you just can't get this beam under control. I mean, you think you have it by now, but whatever. You're great at kicking things. Your beam flies out, and you see the bar mere six feet from where you are explode. <laughs> 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 Oh, what is my natural enemy? <laughs> In fairness, you don't have goggles, so you can't actually see it. I hate inanimate objects. <laughs> Give me something to kick. Uh, the ghost <laughs> hits a wall, and you guys see the, the, the ripple of fire as it phases through. And it's gone. The, go the plates, everything shatters and it falls to the floor. After it! <laughs> This was a nice bar! Oh. At least we didn't destroy the crystals. Hey, yeah, hey, you alright? Yeah, I think so, I think so. Very, very right. good. Alright, okay, good, Thank you. good. Thank you yeah, yeah. It. Walk it off, walk oh, it off. My right. whole okay. life just flashed before my eyes. Alright. <clears throat> um, can we pause real quick? Actually, they need to use the restroom. Yeah. Go ahead and use the restroom, we'll keep going. Okay. okay. So, uh, you guys are trying to recollect. Uh, you. Give me a moves check. I want to see if any of the debris hit you. I'm going to give you a bonus die because I'm doing this sort of post. Right. So, uh, you said a move check with a with an extra die? Yes. And the ghost die is one of those die. Ghost right? die is always included. <clears throat> is that oh. going to keep us from asking that constantly, though? No. No. Not at all. I'll just get a sign. I'll hang up below my neck. Go ghost die is included. We'll still ask so, you. Uh, that's... 13. 13. Plus a complication. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, all right. Are what equipment were you wearing? Worst. What's that? What equipment were you Hashtag wearing? Uh, like I'm wearing the trip. proton pack, the goggles, and a trap. Okay. <laughs> uh, the wood comes flying at you, and you weren't really exp uh, expecting that. Um, the goggles, they get hit <gasps> hard. Um, they work, then they fuzz out, you tap them once or twice, and they, they seem to work again. Um, what would you like to do? Do you want to try and repair them, or swap them out for different goggles? We could say I have like a little black eye underneath one of them, like... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if only oh. someone took electrical repair. Hmm. Are oh, the goggles made out of food? Oh, these things are... <laughs> yeah, can we cobble them? <laughs> <laughs> these are messed up. These are real messed up. Oh, I think these are not... These are not working great. That's alright, we can build a hotel for them. Oh. Only if we succeed in trapping the ghost, which we're mm. not doing too great at, guys. It's not trapped yet. All right, so the debris flew. It hit your goggles. They're now malfunctioning. Are you good um, with this stuff, intern? I can try. You're an engineer, right? Science. I would allow you to use science. Does you took any type of mechanical inclinations. And that means my bonus die, yeah? Yes. Okay. And your ghost die is included. Yes, it is. I didn't have to ask. No. Okay, ghost is green. 
Oh, yeah. Twenty two. All right, twenty two. Uh, you actually managed to get them working. She unblinded you with science. Oh, Dan Peck. <laughs> Distasteful. <laughs> it was um, not my finest hour, but it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. This isn't being recorded or anything. Oh, hey, PSP uh, care. PSP care. Buddy. Oh man. I remember you from Uncanny Valley. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a long time fan of ours. PSP care was like every character in Deep Water Deep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Deep Water Deep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you managed to get the goggles working. You guys are now fully operational, more or less. Uh, the ghost has fled the scene. Uh, you're not entirely sure where, just out that wall. Uh, the area that you're in would be considered a mezzanine and not necessarily the second floor. Okay. Just for those who are architects and want that Is the only way out the stairwell that we came up? Uh, yes, from what you can tell. Okay, oh, from what we can tell. <laughs> can I roll yeah. perception? <laughs> uh, yeah, give me a... Uh, a I want to say brains. Yeah, that's unless the there's brains. 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 I mean, oh, no, moose. I'm sorry, moose, because that's where C <coughs> is for some reason. Right. You All have right. to move your eyes. Oh well, that's four oh, with a complication. No. <laughs> nope, that's it. Okay, that's all. We're uh, in our room. <laughs> <laughs> there's no doors and no windows. <laughs> Guys, there's I think the only way my, out is the way we came. There's always my way out. <laughs> Kicking the wall down. Yeah. <laughs> Just take a flying kick at a random wall. <laughs> it's safe, guys. <laughs> it was that Disneyland reference. It was. Oh, yeah. we got oh, you. I, I, I got yeah, it. I yeah. Uh, right. I forgot. Get that. it. <laughs> I forgot that there we could like die in this job. I call me naive. I, I we almost. Do we almost die? Worst case scenario, you turn into a ghost. I mean. Yeah, that's a that's really bad case though. That's a bad case. Well, I don't want to be doing this forever. <laughs> don't worry, you'll die way before then. You guys, I think my mom's a ghost. What? We can talk about that. Drop that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing her now? No, no. Okay. It was, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I just don't want to be. I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I'm sorry. I'm gonna pull it together. We can do this. Hashtag Ghostbusters. All right. Hashtag LA Ghostbusters. Hashtag Hashtag Ghostbusters LA. Hashtag. They're all with the underscore underscore LA Ghostbusters. Basically, all of them. We're capitalizing on all of it. Any. That's not how branding works. (laughs) Yeah. We're not very good at this job. No, we're not. (laughs) Uh, You guys hear a scream from upstairs. I'm sure that's unrelated. We weren't supposed to disturb the guests. Should probably go check that out, eh? It might not have been us. It was probably us, Brandon. It might have been. It might have been us. <laughs> all right, let's go through the room of all the breakable stuff. Great. Yeah. Love it. All right. You have an excellent name to sneer. <laughs> all right, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> all right. Uh, you guys fly through the crystal room. Uh, elevator or stairs? Stairs? I'm not taking the yeah. elevator. Yeah, that's... Okay. I don't want... If the ghost broke the goggles, the ghost can break an elevator, and I'm not getting stuck in an elevator with you guys for three hours. I don't blame you. <laughs> and I need to, uh, work on these, uh, <laughs> table kickers. So, yeah, let's, uh, I'll stick the stairs. I just call them my table kickers. <laughs> this one's the door opener, that's the table kicker. <laughs> you don't want to see them both at the same time. Oh, no. <laughs> that's the last thing you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the greatest hits. <laughs> greatest kicks. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, so you guys <laughs> ascend the stairs slowly. Like, at first you're like, oh, yeah, we've got this. <laughs> After stair four, you're beefing it. You're like, oh. <sighs> Except for Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. He's got horse legs. <laughs> Steps. <laughs> you ever seen his mom though? She was like so lithe back in her day. All right, easy there. You're talking about my mom, okay? <laughs> well, I mean, she's still lithe, yeah. you know, for an older gal. I, I date her. Are we having this conversation again? <laughs> Sorry. Guys? Oh, all right. Anyway, God, lead every on. Every time. <laughs> all right. So you guys continue on. Uh, you guys uh, didn't hear the scream come from the second floor. Looks like it sounded like it came from the third floor. That's a powerful scream. It is. Oh, okay. <laughs> a couple of us have listened. Mm. <laughs> Let's hear things. All right. Uh, you guys uh, push open the emergency door, uh, and you God. see a, a cleaning uh, person. Uh, their cart is completely overturned. They are just covered in ectoplasm, just, ah, 
eh, just completely confused as to what's happening, where they are. What do you do? Oh no, I'm gonna walk over and grab a towel off the card. Can I? Can I towel you off? Are you, you said, <laughs> okay, no, no, okay, that's fine. I don't have to. Are you, are you okay? Are you okay? It's a ghost. A ghost. Yep. Yeah. And she starts frantically pointing. Uh, and we're the Ghostbusters. You get it? Okay. She yeah. Points towards uh, one of the rooms. What did it look like? Uh, eh? Is it full body? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Was it a class seven? <laughs> it was an anchor. It was roaming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was roaming. All right, well, you should get into an unoccupied room and maybe shower because that stuff's not great for you. You're not in immediate danger. Am I going to stop? No, you're fine. It's just, I mean, you it's no more dangerous. Help. It's no more dangerous she than talking on a cell phone. Die. It's no more dangerous than a cell phone. Wait, you want me to hit her with the slime? No, no, she's been slimed enough. <laughs> ah, she runs off. She'll be fine. Oh, yeah, it's fine. fine. Oh, man. It's like a cool uh -huh. on a binge. Yeah, right? that good, Mace? Oh, yeah. Okay, That's great. Great. Did we, did we thank you Lucifer guys, Bob for this earlier? Lucifer <laughs> Bob? I didn't even notice that one. Thank you, Lucifer Bob. I mean, it's very fitting, uh, mm -hmm. the donation that pushed us over. Uh, you guys hear a voice. My chosens, you will do great things for me. I sound like a coo. <laughs> <laughs> I start uh, backing towards the stairwell, ready to abandon these losers. Uh, uh, One of the doors opens up, and you see glowing lights, a set of stairs, smoke, two devil dogs, and <laughs> some woman in like sparkly <laughs> attire with a flat top hair. Hey, uh, my mom used to be one of those dogs. <laughs> this is- Still date her. Still hot. <laughs> still, <laughs> still smash. All right. Uh, this is boost from the flat top, go to the gozerian, assist the characters with a little health boost. Oh. I'm sure there won't be any strings attached. No. Go ahead and uh, give yourselves 10 extra points Holy for the Ooh. brownie. Ooh. Now, thanks, uh, Gozer. Now we can do anything. Now we've just probably sold our souls to another dimension. Don't mention it. Soul. <laughs> what they? What? <laughs> that really happened, eh? What for? What is it for? Uh, we do things for her. I don't know. Dogs. Those those beams. They went right into you. You feel good. You feel real good. I feel real good. Yeah. Like, real good. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the things you can do in the Ghostbusters RPG is when you have up to 30 brownie points, you can convert them into one trait. So if there's mm. something you want to boost, <laughs> you'd like to, who can, you can do that. What do you trade for one trait? 30 brownie points. I'm doing oh, that to points. boost my moves, because <laughs> I can't shoot yeah, I the broadside of a barn. Yeah, but then aren't you then down to, down like... Six. I know. It's okay. I'm yeah. well aware of that. It's a one-shot. <laughs> That's what they're saying about you. Oh. All right, so my moves are at three now. And my moves Got are it. at four. All right. There you guys might hit something. <laughs> With my luck? <laughs> no. I'm not no. going to do that yet. That's Because I assume that I can do this in the future. You can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to just sit on that. All right. <laughs> if it really comes to it. Now, uh, the reverse okay. is possible. You guys can also trade in a trait for brownie points, except you only get 20. <laughs> right. That seems excessive. And it is. Uh, so there you go. That's, oh no, I'm going to die. I need health. Right. right. There it is. Take yeah. my last cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging for my life now. You hit me right in the cool. <laughs> oh. 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 I lost my, my ability to play poker. Right in the chiseled jaw. <laughs> my brains. <laughs> I can't kick things over. <laughs> I can't kick things over. I can't. Who I am I anymore? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are very close to the final unlock, and I'm very excited for that. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I, I even put that up as a gag. I was like, "No way, they're gonna do that." So we'll, we'll, we'll just you see. folks mm. are amazing. So nice. All right, so nice. We named it twice. Let's go ahead and jump back into it. So she's frantically pointing. She's freaking the frack out because you know you've told her she's gonna have cancer, or at least you didn't not tell her she Mine. won't. It's, her it's, it's a possibility, away. you know. Yeah. Long term studies still really haven't don't. really shown what the effects are. Mm -hmm. I mean, also Stay. we don't know the status of the building. It could be related to that. It's not our fault. Look, it's California. They have the yeah, signs Prop 65 right yeah. there. We've got the yeah. liability yeah. waiver. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, may cause cancer just being here. Anything. <laughs> Welcome to LA. <laughs> Don't drink the water. Uh, so do you guys take off after it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, as you guys 
fly down the hall, you see it splits left and right. Uh, you're going to equal PKE readings from both sides. What do you do? That can't be a good thing, right? Uh, it's seen the same from both directions. Or there could be multiple entities. It kind of seems that way. It could have turned into a class three and a half apparition. That's not a thing. How much you don't know us? that. The studies are still out. Look, intern, you just stay in your lane, eh? <laughs> hey, she is a valuable member of this really inefficient team. I'm she, a valuable she member. <laughs> she fixed my goggles. really inefficient team. Yeah, it's true. She's doing great. Who's the only one who's been hitting ghosts on this team? Yeah. All right, fair the point, intern. fair point. All right, all right. Well, which way would you have us go, left or right? Yeah. Uh, right, because you put your right hand on a wall and you stick with it so you don't get lost. Is that a thing? That is. Yeah, that's how you get through labyrinths. Get through oh, okay. Cases. Oh. All right. I know this from my last D&D campaign. Ah, nice, <laughs> oh, nice. All right. All right, lead the way. Yeah, I put my, stick my right hand on the wall and begrudgingly lead the way. Okay. Right now, the wall, you're leading the way, and you, your hand hits no. goo. Mm. Not a guy. Schmear. 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 Goo schmear. It's near and dear. But nothing to fear. I'm so tired so, you're in the clear. of never being clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it, it looks like it's on a door uh, leading to one of the private rooms. Sven, I think you should go through this door. Oh, thanks. Yeah. All right, sure. Happy and to. And I'll wipe it on his jumpsuit. <laughs> uh, they said that we can't go into the private rooms. Whoops, so. too bad. Uh, Door kicker? <laughs> yeah, let's say, uh, we'll see about that. Knock. Should we knock first? Knock. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> knock first. <laughs> Housekeeping? You knock. No response. Housekeeping? No response. I'm gonna try the key card first. Key card does not work. All right. Uh, with one mighty... Yeah, I'm gonna try to kick the door. And we'll see if it works. Let's see if you are mightier than the door, if the door is mightier than you. This ain't no taco shack door. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot of fives and sixes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. uh, 22, 25. Ooh. Wow, you are really- <laughs> Don't are like... skip leg day. <laughs> <laughs> these are really strong doors too. Like I put the thing at 20 and you blew right past it. <laughs> That is impressive. This is uh, all the residual energy that uh, uh, Vigo left in my body. <laughs> he, he was mostly a head because he gave me his legs. <laughs> uh. You couldn't see it under the onesie. The Wanted to put onesie. All legs. That baby was ripped. All right. Uh, the door poof, flies open, and there is a red haired, red beard, bearded, thin man uh, in his. Boxer briefs, white tank top, and his high socks are attached to his underwear because that's how some people do. Uh, what? What are you doing? What are you doing in my room? Housekeeping. <laughs> you guys look at each other, and you there's a, a mark of recognition. That man is Walter Peck. <gasps> wow. Yes. Uh. I know you, or and he goes to your to your chest and points at the <laughs> emblem. Okay, yeah, okay, we're here. Have you have you seen anything? No, I have not, and I'm going to have a word with the owner about this. Sven, hose him. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to remember this? Do we care? <laughs> I'm gonna let that happen. <laughs> I'm not even gonna you roll for it. Okay. You hose Walter Peck. Maybe that's, maybe that's all he needed. A good yeah. hosing. Yeah. Uh, Normally, I really like the EPA. <laughs> they do such good work. I mean, yeah. And he's got such a solid last name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's in a pile of goo, unconscious in the corner. Uh, I, he's got a smile on his face, though. Take Big his smile. wallet. <laughs> the ghost did it. Take his wallet. Take my intern. I have student loans to pay off. <laughs> no, I'm not and you guys about. don't pay me. All right, I'm gonna look the other way and take a reading of this room. I'm gonna <laughs> take his wallet. <laughs> you take his wallet? Yeah, I'm gonna take his wallet. Okay, you find $200 in the wallet. Sweet. Uh, and several credit cards of various heft. I'll take the cash and leave the credit cards. No, I know better move. than that. Don't steal, folks. It's a lot steal of ramen. Kids. <laughs> Be gay and do crimes. <laughs> <laughs> the more you Solid know. advice. Uh, okay, so uh, you guys take a reading from the room, yeah. uh, and it you see an emanation coming from the bathroom itself. Knew it. 
Oh, I was last again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open the door this time, but I'm gonna have my uh, my proton pack at the ready. Though. Okay. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. You know, take take a second name. You know, with your proton. I'm gonna just. Watch out for the mirror. I don't know if it's going to reflect the laser beam or... Oh, no, it'll break it. Okay. Oh, no, it's not a laser. It's a highly charged stream of, you know... Never right, mind. it's a quantum... It's a laser. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that thing where it's like... Yeah. You, like, tap the handle and push, but, like, you back up real quick. Okay, you tap the handle, you push. Uh, and in there is nothing. It, it's a bathroom slightly used. Um, Ugh. <laughs> Give me a brand new bathroom. I mean, come on. In a hotel? Yeah. All right. Well, it's going to use a lot. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take out the PKE meter and give it a okay. scan of room. It's, it's hot. The room is lighting up. Hey, uh, someone with goggles, I need a... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's <that's> me. <laughs> all right. I'll just look over your shoulder like... Me. All right, so normally uh, you would see things on a scale... Uh, looking through, or a spectrum, I guess, mm -hmm. um, looking through the goggles, and the room is coming up completely black. The bathroom, that is. What the? You sure these are fixed? I'll lean in with mine and double check. You verify, also completely black. Okay, uh, I'm going to run over to the mini bar and pick up uh, the biggest bottle that's in there, because who cares about the plastic? plastic. Yeah. yeah, whatever, and, and I'm going to uh, chuck it into the bathroom. You pitch into the bathroom, and it goes into the bathroom, and it hits the wall, click, 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 falls on the floor. They're going to charge you for that. <laughs> What's going on in there? The room is No good. idea. Can I give uh, an occult roll? I want to know if maybe this is like a parallel dimension. Or, or can like I do parasychology? Per universe. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't have enough information to okay. determine if it is a parallel universe. That's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Hey, hey, Peck. Tell me something good. I oh, will. Yeah. Hey, um, what'd food. you do to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. I took a shower. Okay. What brings you to L.A.? Vacationing. In your underpants. Well, I'm not outside, am I? And it's all free in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's, he starts to get to his feet. Looks like a, a you know, newly born uh, horse, just wobbly as hell. <laughs> Gooey. Gooey, yeah. dripping goo. And he's trying to dance with you. He's over. Me? Yeah. He's like, I deck him. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. You hit him. Straight down. Good. And he crumples. Great. Tell me something good. I take a credit card from this wallet <laughs> <laughs> and I throw it in the hall. Out to LA traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, throw it out the window to LA traffic. Okay. okay. I'm going to take the do not disturb sign and put it on the door and say, all right, let's go. What door? <laughs> the, the room door. Oh, right. <laughs> You're right. Oh, yeah. Just hang the door back on. No, I'm just going to put the do not disturb right on the floor. <laughs> just put it like on his like, chest or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. I mean, it's. Abyss to hell, probably. I don't know. All right, good. good. That's Perfect. if that's like in our wheelhouse, though, right? We should do something about we that. We only got paid for the one ghost. I mean, this is <laughs> this is you know, it's true. not like you could upsell or anything. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we don't freelance. Loose for Bob. Thank you, Loose for Bob. Reroll for the table. Thank Yay. you. We got a chance. So, what you guys yeah. gonna do? All right, you want to take point again? <sighs> I mean, you're 200 bucks richer right now. That's not saying a lot. You guys don't pay me. <laughs> Again. I'm just going to keep reiterating that. Well, we're not getting college credit. <laughs> Did you guys even go to college? Yeah. Yeah, I was... I, I mean, mean I had a major. couple of big <laughs> some. <laughs> I, I, I have some degrees, you know, if was, that's what you mean, yes. In I, what? Fahrenheit, Celsius, yeah. Um, co uh, comparative religion and... Uh, uh, you know, it's it's really unimportant because you know the most important uh, knowledge is what we gain on the Spin road. Spin take point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sven. As you take points. <laughs> Am I going in the bathroom then, or? I think we're walking back down the hall. Okay. Oh, you guys right. going back down the hall? Yeah, room. no, I think we're going. The for... door is open. We can get back in if we yeah. need to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got my my uh, slime blower ready. <clears throat> All right. So you guys are going back into the hallway. You guys are leaving the bathroom as is. Mm -hmm. All right. Wonderful. Um, you continue down the hall. 
Looks like it meets a dead end. Uh, the PKE, PKE meter has gone cold. What are you gonna do? Back the way you came, towards the other end of the hallway. Yeah. yeah like towards the other break. End up going back down the hall. Yeah. Okay. All right. As you guys <coughs> continue down the hallway, uh, give me a hmm. give me a moose check. Thank you. I got a one! Oh my... 16. <laughs> okay. 11. 16. An 16. 8 and a complication. Um, this is like a record. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of doubt. Makes it interesting. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ghostbusters Jazz And hands. we are here for you. Ghostbusters Jazz Hands. <laughs> <laughs> I love this table. It's great. <laughs> all right, so uh, all of you are, are walking... Uh, down you're staring at the PKE meter and you three are, are in front and you guys notice a you hear that right? kind of sound uh, you're in the back you don't notice this at all uh, as you three turn and look directly at uh, Oscar. Oscar the grouch uh, you see a giant Figure looming behind him. Uh, it looks kind of round in shape. Uh, it is one of the bag carriers, and it wraps itself around you <laughs> and begins to squeeze. Give me a muscles check. Whoa. Oh, my worst trait. Good. Not yeah, but it's legs. what you've been using to kick the things up. Kick yeah. it over. Kick, kick, I can't. Kick your I'm, way I'm wrapped. <laughs> jump, you <laughs> jump. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Uh, ten. Ten? It's pretty good, too. Yeah. You don't, it's not uh, doing any damage to you, but it's got you wrapped up tight. You can feel, you start to hear a hiss sound coming from your pack. Wow. Oh, what boy. are y'all going to do? No, oh, no, oh, do, 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 Sven, do something. I, I'm going to try and get containment on the pack. Yeesh, okay. So yeah, I'm going to run over <laughs> and, and see what I can see on his pack. Uh, you can see that the bars on this, uh, on the, the Bellhop equipment, it, it's it's starting to crack the proton pack. Oh. That can't be good. Nope, it's a nuclear reactor. <laughs> <laughs> Not, nothing happens if you break a nuclear reactor, right? No. no. Hmm. Uh, can what I wiggle doing? out? Like, Can I like unclick the strap and wiggle out of it? Possibly. But we'll get back to you. Okay. Uh, is there anything you'd like uh, to do? Is it a cry? Okay, you successfully cry. I, I scream and cry. A scream and cry. Oh, okay. I have the dart upgrade. I think I would hit you. I don't know. Like yeah. they're not good enough to focus. Can I focus around him? Uh, it you can dangerous. not as, with the boson dart. Yeah. No, but with your beam, you can try and and wing it. See if you can harm it that way. That just... sounds stupid. That sounds like a. That's awesome. I'm going to let you guys know, you do have a piece of equipment that is built for this type of situation. That's the slime. Can we slime it? I don't have slime. I have slime. You have slime. All right, well, then I'll try and slime it. Okay. You slime it? I, yeah. <laughs> lights you up with slime. <laughs> You're covered head to toe with this thing. And reforms back into what it is uh, it, as, as a little bag carrier. And then <laughs> rolls away. I feel nice. Hey, can you fix my no. pro proton pack? Because it could probably become a nuclear bomb. Oh, yeah. I should. Yeah, this can is, I fix this it is, with science? This is not a great... You can try. This is not great. Complication. Complication. <laughs> this is real good on-the-job training. Yeah. yeah. It is not a complication. Oh, good. Four, five, ten, eleven, seventeen, twenty-two, thirty-two. All right, you're becoming a... Regular ray on this one. Oh, uh, nice. You managed to stabilize it. You're uh, welcome. Thank you. Hey, I'm gonna write you the best recommendation. I letter. don't think a recommendation from the Ghostbusters is gonna get me into NASA. Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna forge it and have it be from someone. Oh cool. my god, I'm gonna get blacklisted from NASA. <laughs> <laughs> a couple things. Uh, your oh, thank, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. giant. Uh, your slime blower is starting to actually run a little low. I'm not surprised. Uh, you've got maybe two more uses in it before it's empty. Can Damn you it. science it, fool? <laughs> <No>. Science? 
Uh, you do have a spare one in the car, but you have to go back to the car to get it. All right, we got to be real sparing with this slime, y'all. Can we go to y'all. Walter Peck's room and like syringe it back in? No. <laughs> Used. We tried that once, and it was not pretty, all right? And you know it's contaminated with Walter Pack. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it should make you honorary slime. No. All right. Slimy slime. Slimy it's slime. It's slimy. Okay, uh, your PKE meters light up again. It looks like it's now coming uh, from above you. Oh, jeez. All I'm right. I'm real tired of stairs. I know, but we got to keep going up. Do hey, we? hey. Yeah. You got another flight in you? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you go first, okay? Okay, that sounds great. Everyone follow me. And he makes quick work of the stairs. Of no yeah. problem. They go in two, three at a time. 50-pound <laughs> pack, doesn't matter. But in, in doing so, I exert myself enough that the sweat forms and the slime drips off me, and I'm back to my normal oh, demeanor. Uh, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, let's hope Walter Peck doesn't wake up anytime soon. All right. Right. To the... Cool, we can't do anything without his credit card. <laughs> and plus his entire organization's been shut down. Yes. Too real. So, Too real. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys are now on the fourth floor. Okay. Uh, looking around, uh, you see an actual physical slime trail now leading further and deeper into the rooms. Uh, this one, it looks like he has gone into... Oh. The Dad Network, thank you for the raids. Oh, All right. Thank uh, you. Much appreciated. Welcome, everyone. We're playing Ghostbusters. Hi. Uh, <laughs> it looks like you now see an ecto trail leading to each of the rooms. Uh, what the? This isn't fair. We're not getting paid enough for this. I'm not getting paid at all. You keep I mean, saying that. And believe I'm me, even if you were stick. getting paid, it wasn't that. Uh, never mind. Look, you guys, we're overlooking the opportunity that we could get paid in glory. No. Okay, that was worth a try. <laughs> That's okay. I appreciate it. I'm gonna pull a fire alarm. Oh, interesting right. move. All right. I clear the hotel. Yep. You pull the fire alarm. Yep. We, we should have made her sign a waiver, waiver before we did all of this. We probably should have gotten them to clear the hotel before we did any of this. <laughs> the alarm goes off, and it's a good three minutes before people <laughs> actually start opening their doors and looking. <laughs> And they're like, "Did you pull it?" No, no, no. Uh, this is uh, this is real. See, we're uh, we're firefighters. Yeah. Just okay. f follow the trail. Don't touch it. Don't touch that it's in the, the trail in the middle. It's it's a uh, um. It's, uh, it's napalm. Yeah, yeah, napalm. Na napalm. Yeah. It, it, it spreads <laughs> like wildfire. That worked. And people are freaking out. Uh, you cause a stampede oh, no. of oh, humans. Yeah. Uh, we'll determine the results of that shortly. <laughs> Um, uh, a tall man with uh, black hair pulled to one side uh, runs up at you guys and uh, you said napalm, right? <laughs> Grabs you by the shoulder. What the hell is wrong with you? I didn't do it. What are you? Who are you? I'm, uh, I'm the owner of Frank Chambers. Why are you yelling napalm? Oh, hi. Well, I didn't yell it. I just kind of... Um, we're trying to, there's a, oh man, there's ghost stuff going on. Oh, a lot. We got to clear this place. We got to, it's got to go. Ghost stuff? Yeah, a lot of ghost stuff. We, you got you have a class seven anchored apparition, full, full torso. Yeah, we were hired mm -hmm. by your wife? Sir, there is Schmier. I don't care. I've told her there's no ghost. I told her not to hire you. All right, I want you off my property. Great, but, bye. But uh, that's a real bad idea, sir. Oh, why? What? What, do you think something's going to happen to me? Yeah. Yeah, do you see this slime here? Uh, he does not, because he doesn't have goggles on. Here, you want to put these on for just, uh, just a moment? Okay, put some on. What you got here? What did you do to my hallway? I, it's a ghost thing. It's yeah. ghost stuff. There's no such thing as ghosts. Look, we were in the velvet room. We got attacked by plates. Uh, the ghost kicked in a number of doors. We have a party there <laughs> in two hours. Well, you didn't do anything to the velvet room, did it's you? It's fine. I mean, it's easy to get slime out of velvet, right? No, the velvet room's fine. There's it's slime? Fine. You're getting a new bar. It was oh, ghost. and he's bolted off, headed uh, possibly to find uh, Mrs. Chambers. You guys are like, well, no problem. Yeah. Okay, we better finish this up pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> the cops are coming. <laughs> Those guys. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to do a quick PK scan of all of the rooms now that they're they're empty, or as quick as I can. Uh, you scan, and it's it's all cold. Whatever the entity is, is moving away from you. 
All right, well, boldly forward, I guess. Let's get him. Wait, no, it's moving away from us. Well, Is it the... moving up again? <laughs> no, it's coming from down. Oh. Ah. Ah. Why is he? I, uh, this guy's run all over the... Okay. I oh, think I know just... where it's going. It... Is it fault? Is it going? To Mrs. Chambers' office. Oh. All right, well, okay, let's well, get let's... down there. More stairs. More stairs. Down but this we're going time, down this yeah. time. Yeah, it's not so bad. Okay. Uh, you guys and gals are running, and you guys... And all of our wrists buzz at the same time that we hit our step goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. Nice. Yeah. Goal achieved. Uh, you guys get downstairs to the second floor, and you guys head over to... You guys hear a scream as you hit the second floor. And yes, it is coming from Mrs. Chambers' office. Yeah. We kicked down the door. <laughs> <laughs> kicked down the door. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you see Mr. Chambers uh, holding her, shaking her. <clears throat> what are you guys going to do? What happened? Uh, he turns and looks at you. His eyes are glowing red. Doesn't believe in ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> the, should we slime him? Oh, I think it's, I think it's busting time. Well, we can't use the proton packs on him, and I don't know how much of this I got left, so we got to make sure this is the right thing we want to do. I mean, we could use the proton packs on him. And to be fair, we <laughs> never know it's the right thing to do. <laughs> well, you guys say that he dives behind her, holding her up as a human shield. What do you do? Can't We can always get another one. All right. So, how's it going? You, you had to stick your nose in this. Yeah, we're real sorry. What's uh, what's your motivation here? <laughs> Wait, who's got a trap, by the way? I lost track. I got one. Okay. Hanging off of the. Right. Right. <laughs> what's your? Uh, what are you? Why are you? What are you doing? It's none of your business. If you guys had just left, everything would be fine. We'd be happy. We'd be together. So this literally is our business. Your business, huh? I mean, I'm technically not paid, but I mean, it's their business. Uh, you're part of the organization. Give me move checks Great. all the way around. I don't like that, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, shoot, hold on. Keep it in the box. All right, that's uh, 13. Yeah. 14. Uh, eight. Okay. Um, you guys, uh, mm -hmm. except for you, start to hear a cracking sound uh, and you feel the floor beneath you kind of start to wiggle a bit. Uh, all of a sudden, I don't even feel it. I'm like, oh. the floor <laughs> drops quick. down. Those of you that felt it in advance are able to grab onto something to try and hold on. Uh, you unfortunately are going to fall down into the velvet room. Well, all right. You land uh, on your back hard. Uh, we'll say you take one point of trait damage for that. But it's velvet, so. Yeah. You know. It's cushy. It's a cushy. It's a very square pack. Oh, oh God, he's turtled. I landed on my keys, too. He's turtled. He's turtled. We gotta roll him over. It's the worst version of stepping on a Lego. <laughs> All right, uh, give me moves checks for the U3 to grab onto something. Do I take any damage from that? Or I just You're gonna take it? one trait. 11. So. All right. I'm less cool now, guys. 14. Don't allow me to be cool anymore. You got a little giddy up. Little 11, giddy up. also. 11? Yep. Okay, it was 11, 11. 14. 14. Uh, you guys managed to grab onto something. Uh, walls, curtains, what have you. And as the floor opens up beneath you, you're able to sort of control slide down the sides as he is floating in the air, holding her by the throat. Listen, Bal, we don't want your wife to get hurt, uh, whether you are, in fact, Mr. Chambers or not. Just let her go. All right. Please. It's a giant bug. It's a, it's, it's, it's it's a, a cricket. cricket. They're good luck. Super friendly. Mm -hmm. I was like, I wonder why you guys are so <laughs> staring and rapt attention. Because I was you're like, an amazing actor, Dan. I, I, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah. 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 Um, can I, uh, I'm going to attempt to charm. I'm gonna charm him. All right, go for it. Okay. Give me. A this charm. is seven dice. Hot ooh, dog. Ooh, ooh. Please not a ghost. Please not a ghost. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, that's a lot of numbers. Ten. Twenty-one. Ten numbers. Oof. Uh, twenty. 
That's going to be 32. Okay, yeah. What, what you said, 32. Basic math. We're yeah. really uh, good at it. Amazing. When people are watching. <sighs> Even better. <laughs> uh, you see his head whip back and forth. Um, no, be quiet in there. No! Yeah! And the body falls to the floor. Frank Chambers falls to the floor uh, along with the wife. Uh, and the ghost is still standing there. It's the same ghost you saw before. We could have been happy, but you had to intervene, and it's going to terrorize all of you. Give me cool checks to Little see if you guys can boy. stay. So there's like a so there's a chasm from the lower room to the upper room, and I, we can, I can see up there. You certainly can. Okay, cool. Twelve. Everyone is now technically in the velvet room. You guys can fire up at it. Uh, ah, okay. Into I'm her spending office. Spending a brownie point, by the way. Okay. I got a 12. Uh, what, what was the roll for that again? Go Green. Team. Uh, 12. 12. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm less guilty than 12. That was really lame. What'd you get? 12. 12? 12. 12. 12. Oh, biscuits. Is that a... <laughs> it's, it's a complication. <coughs> All right. Maybe the gold of your We do have a reroll. The... That's up to you guys, though. I've already used yeah. one. It's up to you. We're, we're the home stretch, too. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. All right. Somebody this, paid money for that. This smells right. like yeah. a boss fight. So. Yeah, boss fight <laughs> yeah, I'm way cool. Okay, that's well, a little better. Uh, <laughs> with no complication, at least, right? Uh, 13 with no complication. All right. Uh, what'd you get? I'm sorry. I got a 12. 12, okay. Anyone got over 10? Uh, you guys are managed to face down this screaming, uh, all just terrifying monster. Uh, every hey, part pal, of it. I don't know if you know about this, but we ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh, this is the moment we all come together. Yeah. <laughs> Any semblance of its human form slowly sheds as its fingers and arms get gangly and long. Claws appear on its feet and hands. Big old bat wings spread out as it snarls at you. What do you guys do? It has had a turn. Uh, I scream and hit it with my dirt upgrade. Ah, Do it. What is that? That number? is going to be uh, your cool. I'm sorry. Moves. Moves. Moves, Moves with a ghost eye. Yeah. Oh no. Ooh. That's a complication. That's a 10 plus complication. <laughs> okay. Uh, the boson dart goes <laughs> flying wildly um, and it hits a corner of the hotel. And sets fire to the curtains. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, small that's fire right. Fire is going. Things like that can cause oh, fires. Just... <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna whip out my cellular telephone and turn on the live stream because if we don't prove that we were fighting a ghost in here, <laughs> they're gonna send us all to jail for a long time. Okay. That's uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a good spot to prop up the phone and like live stream it and be like. Okay, here we go. Oh, what are you doing? I thought you would have put it like, in your pocket or something. Oh, what's that? I thought you would put it like in your pocket with the camera facing in. We gotta upgrade people, and get you a GoPro. Do that? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not smart. <laughs> Body cams. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's some GoPros, like for real. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do whatever, whatever makes the most sense. Okay. Um, is there any way I can gauge how much slime is left in my blower? Uh, yes, uh, you've got one shot left. One solid hit. I don't like saying it either. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm having a moment of agony as I'm looking at this demonic creature before us and the curtains that are now on fire. I'm wondering if I shouldn't worry about the curtains are on fire with the slime. Hebita, habita, 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 habita. Ah, jeez. And I'm going to go for the demon. Going for the demon, all right. So that's uh, moves, yeah? Yes, game moves. We're just making the fire alarm true. It's yeah. very true. It's a yeah. really good thing we is 16 it earlier. Well 16, you, you the hit, part the, the way. hit the demon for two points. Yep. And that's it for the slime blower. And the slime blower is now empty. You hear the gas. Uh, and then I'm going to actually run over to you and grab your trap. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. All right. All right, so uh, you've set up the camera. I'll allow you to take a shot if you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, go for it. Take a shot and then go, okay, I'm watch this. <laughs> All right. What's going on? <laughs> Kill! Blast him. Let's do it. Uh, move, right? Yes, move. Okay. Oh, man. My dice rolls are so low. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, uh, eight. All right, eight. Unfortunately, it, it goes wide and does not hit. Uh, I'm going to take a shot. All right, Oscar, do it. Uh, hey, I got a good number. Ten. Ten. Ten is enough. All right. You hit it. Uh, well, did you have an upgrade on that? or was No, it just I just the... have the standard proton pack. Okay. 
You hit it, you see the beam wrap around it, and it breaks free after a second. Oh, jeez. Oh, Mr. Chambers. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, would you have an action? I shot? have the dart upgrade. That's right. You took the, the shot <laughs> yep. and lit the thing on fire. Yep. Great. Yeah, I did. Uh, the fire department's on the way because we pulled the fire off. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, it, its eyes roll to the back of its head, and you see it kind of as uh, some of the tables and the ugly chairs uh, come to life and are like hopping towards you. Um, they're going to take a round to get to you guys. Uh, <coughs> what would you guys like to do? You guys have the monster in front of you. You guys have two chairs and one table coming at you on the ground. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to swap it up and be like, I'm going to toast these chairs and that table. I'm going to burn them all up. Okay, you're trying to just <laughs> whip it across. Okay. Go for it. All right, let's get him. Mm, 12. 12. You swing it across and you cleave all three of them. No problem. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Uh, he's dispatched the tables. What are the rest of you three doing? My proton pack is off for a turn. Okay. Because of the upgrade. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I keep screaming. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's too real. It just, it just, it's pure shrieking through this entire thing. Mm -hmm. While still being competent and doing it, but mm -hmm. just screaming as I go. You're just venting. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try and distract it, actually, while you guys do whatever you're going to do. Hey, so what is it about this place or these people that keeps you here? Why can't you just cross over? She was my wife. Uh, what? Her and her husband killed me. Wait, what? Whoa! She was your wife, but her husband killed you? First wife, first husband, drama, you know, stabby. He kind of does one of those things like, he gets it. Uh, yeah. huh. Okay, well, uh, apparently she doesn't want to be with you anymore, so you should just go ahead and cross over, eh? You're just really making everybody really, really mad. Would it have been too much to divorce me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a lengthy process. I understand. I Oh, okay, look. <laughs> she wasn't right for you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, on divorce me, he's going to try and terrorize you again. Uh, go ahead and give me cool checks. Uh, I didn't get a turn. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Mr. Pack. Because he was, dis he was uh, distracted. So he's distracted. So yes. I'm going to go ahead and give you a boost die, a bonus cool. die on this. All right. Cool. This is a homebrew bonus die, because there's really anything right. for it. Calvin Ball is the best. I'm just letting them know. So if they're playing at home, they're like, I didn't know where bonus die is. Uh, because 10, that's what I do or something. Uh, 14. Wow. Good Again, job. it's with the basic. But still. Uh, yeah. Now you can terrify us on divorce. Okay, you've got him actually wrapped up in a ribbon. Ooh. And he is still going to try and terrorize you. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you guys are all going to get a bonus die to this. So go ahead and roll and add a bonus die to your cool. It's going to be seven. Seven. Okay. Nine. Nine. 14. 14. Uh, 19. 19. Wow, you're you're stalwart. You're, you're you <laughs> both are like seriously, ghost, whatever. Um you though, unfortunately, are like, I have no weapon. I am unarmed in this confrontation. So you are terrified. You're gonna try and run and look for <coughs> a weapon. Okay. Uh yeah. we'll say that you're gonna be disabled next round. Okay. And we'll come back to you. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, he's, he's wrapped up in one of the ribbons. New round, what are you two doing? I'm gonna keep on, uh, keep, keep on, on, keep it on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I got my dart charger, or upgrade charged. So okay. I'm gonna keep hitting him. Go for it. Seven. Seven's good enough, uh, cause mm -hmm. now he's wrapped up, he's not mobile, or as mobile as he was. Uh, you sir, are you gonna take another shot? I'm feeling juiced because I just, I just obliterated these tables and chairs. And now I'm, you know his good. motivation. Yeah, mm -hmm. now I know. That it's not as an fault, actor, you can good. understand it. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can defeat him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, 12. Okay. Uh, 12, you, you hit him as well. Uh, you uh, you both got two good streams on him. He, his eyes are, I don't have to roll are again. rolling back. No, you've okay, you got cool. him on this one. Cool. Uh, you come bursting in the scene with a refreshed uh, slime blower. Okay. Uh, you've, in your fear, ah! autopilot ran to the car, <laughs> grabbed your slime blower, ran all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> As you do when, when you're terrified. Uh, so you arrive fresh the from the scene. Is like... 
the hell's going on back there? Did you see the fire department on the way while you were? Oh crying? yeah, I feel like the authorities are are, are hovering rapidly encroaching upon our territory. Uh, but I also have the trap, you so do. as soon as I get back up, I'm gonna slide it out. Matt, somehow there's a clear path for the, the trap to slide. I mean, even if I get to throw like a grenade, I'll do it. But yeah. it was uh, your blast path when you took down the uh, <laughs> yeah the table the thing for him. Uh, you slide it, its eyes have rolled back in its head. Are you going to hit the trap? Yeah. You hit the trap. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be like Pokemon, we'd have to watch it. I know. Time, <laughs> <That's what laughs> no, you managed to trap him. <laughs> Did you uh, get that? Uh. <laughs> uh, Hashtag Ghostbusters LA. LA Is that anything, Spanish? Uh, uh, Hashtag Ghostbusters LA. Right. Uh, she. <laughs> uh, she comes <laughs> over to you. She's supporting uh, her husband. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Uh, don't worry about the damages. Um, <laughs> we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to I say the quiet you. part loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, invoice me and I'll pay whatever you'd like. Excellent. Uh, would you. Mind putting that in writing very quickly? Oh, I've got our contract <laughs> here, and I take it out of my gear because I always have our contract. It's like uh, it's still here you recording, go. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We yep. understand that. Okay, great. Yeah. great. Okay. So yeah, I give her the contract. Um, what, what do you guys want to grab a, a fire extinguisher? We should just. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Yeah. It's yeah. manageable. When you guys put out the fire? Yeah, that's that's like the smallest fire we put out this week. It's she fine. looks through the contract. Boilerplate. It's yeah. She yeah. signs it. No yep. problem. Uh, not even a second look. The, the husband comes to, oh, what, 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 sweetie, what happened? We think you know what happened. Uh, I, I'm sorry, what? Well, maybe it's not for me to say. I mean. Oh, we did get it on camera, though. Oh, that's right, we did. Yeah. yeah. Um, Would you like to see it? See what? We don't, we don't usually do this, but you're under arrest. No, we, we don't do we that can, at all. Think we no, but I mean, like, I feel like we kind of have, like, Well, but the citizens. cops are here, so we can just talk to them. Yeah. But a um, ghost saying wait, that isn't really Wait, wait, wait. You, you guys are, are... You can't place me under arrest. You guys can't turn us in. We didn't do anything. Give me a... <laughs> give me a cool check. Cool check. To see if, uh... You don't want me to roll that. He's being... Cool. Not forthrights. Well, that's pretty middling. All right, where are we going? Oh, I got. Oh, can I put brownie points in? Lousy. Yeah, yeah, all I do is do. Oh, yeah. Points. I'm gonna Normally, put... brownie points must be called before doing oh, no, uh, unless it? you're doing trade stuff. <laughs> okay. All out. It's the end of the game. Uh, I got a 10. 15. Not bad. Very poor roll. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yours. Great. Okay. Well, that's plus this, I yes. guess. So. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 15. 15. Okay, <laughs> you two. I feel he's not telling the truth. You're like, <laughs> he's right. He didn't do anything. <laughs> well, come on, guys. Uh, so yeah, you guys definitely feel there's mm. something hinky there. Well, I'll just play it for him. Why not? <laughs> do, you, do you hold it out for him? He, yeah. he goes over well, and he... no, 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 no. Just watch. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do a versus moves check. He's oh, going to try okay. and grab it from you. Mm. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. Uh, oh no. Brownie points, brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> Eight is the number you have to beat. That's actually not bad. I'm still going to use two brownie points just for that's safety. That's fine. Boom! Oh, that's a complication. That's not great. Okay. Uh, you managed to keep it from him, of uh-huh. course, but it tumbles out of your hand <laughs> and skitters away. I die for it. You die for it, she dies for it. Moves check. Okay. And this is still alive, of course. Oh, right, right, right. It's still, it's still Stay on the... All right. Twelve. Uh, that will beat her. Sorry, Mrs. Chambers, but... Skinner, and you managed um, to get it. Pay us before you go to jail. <laughs> I'm not paying a dime. You signed the contract. Yeah. We already do have the contract. My lawyers will, will, will see to that. Oh, we have the best lawyers ever. Are you familiar with a Mr. Lewis Tully? <laughs> <laughs> I want you off my property. Go! Well, and we can just uh, put this back if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let it go. We'll just let it out. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, 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 fine, I'll pay. I'll pay. Well, we'll talk about the, turn that. Turn that off, please. Turn that off right. now. Cool, we'll go talk to the cops. Beep! Then. It's off. You could okay. have just divorced him. That is... It's complicated. I bet it is. How much do I owe you? Let's let's ha- talk about that. Let's talk about money. Yes. Um, 
Yeah, so we've got uh, your capture fee, we've got your ghost removal fee, we've mm -hmm. got your ghost storage fee, we've got our A slime client fee. fee. You're looking at... Equipment rental fee. Equipment rental, thank you, thank yes. you. 6.5 million. 6 point... Her legs give out beneath oh, her. And a tank of gas. 6.6 6 million. Commentary. It's LA. It's LA. <laughs> Topical. Yeah. All of us rushing for it. <laughs> Just then, the, the cops burst in, guns drawn. What's going on here? Well, we just, yeah, we're the, we're the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Didn't I see you earlier at that taco stand? Yes, you did. Hey, oh, were you yeah. eating there? Yeah, I was. That's good, good, good food. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Who's yeah. right through you, though? <laughs> yeah, it does. Call back. All right. <laughs> oh, what, what's, what's, what's going on? Uh, we were hired to catch a ghost, and we did. We have a contract. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is all standard. It's all very legal. He's got the ghost. We've got the contract. We'll get out of your way. Also, they committed murder, we're pretty sure, eh? Murder? Moita. <laughs> <laughs> Moita. <laughs> um, you have any proof of that? Yeah. Uh, well... We, uh, I'll email it to you. Yeah, we've got a ghost confessing. <laughs> Actually, I'd love to talk to you guys about maybe, like, um... Uh, a partnership between Ghostbusters LA and the fine uh, LAPD. All right. Going forward, you know, we run a few red lights, you look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to have to bring you all in for questioning, and we'll go from there. And he, he cuffs... Any, uh, anytime to... we don't have to be in handcuffs at the police station is a victory for the Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. They the, the, the Chambers couple, they start screaming, they're lying, all of it's fake, it's doctored. Uh, and they're they're dragged off. You guys are hailed as heroes. Uh, you guys work out something with the cops. Maybe there is a mutual thing. Maybe you guys get a city contract out of this. Who knows? Nice. Uh, you guys are well paid, and the chambers go to jail after getting a confession from a ghost. You know, you guys. It's got to be a setting first. legal precedent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? yeah. So there you go. You get that that alone is able to put Ghostbusters LA on the map, which I will leverage for a reality television show. That's right. And I finally get a salary. Yes. <laughs> so. JPL calls you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> you turn the note. Sorry, I'm waiting for NASA. <laughs> and that is the game. Yay. Woo! Yeah. Now, we're not necessarily done. That's just the gameplay portion. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and jump into critiques and criticism of the system itself. So... My biggest issue is that I rolled ghosts a lot. Well, that's not the game's fault. <laughs> I man. know. We should have we should have realized that a uh, fire weapon was going to be more important than it was. See, and yeah. I didn't want to take it because it felt too on the nose. But yeah, we were like, this is going to be a lot of investigating. I didn't even look at it. Oh, well, you know, yeah. I didn't either. I didn't realize it was there. So but how do you guys feel about the ghost die mechanic? I love like it. That's, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. it adds a lot of more, it's like, yeah, well, it's like a natural one on every mm -hmm. roll, possibly. <laughs> Shenanigans. Right. On any I game. like that it's not necessarily a negative, but mm -hmm. it's just a wrench in the plans. Mm -hmm. exactly. so that There's it varying degrees of negative. Yeah, it doesn't then. automatically counteract yeah. the rest of the roll. Yeah. It just adds a wrinkle to it. And I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys in chat have to say about it as well. Uh, pose your questions below. Uh, Dom will read them to us if they, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dom, or bring the laptop yeah. over here. I would recommend that uh, use a very different die. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Mm. branded, different, something. Just well, so totally the game doesn't Always come with a ghost, like an actual ghost die. The funny thing about that is, not for sale anywhere. Oh. Uh. It probably was 30 years ago. Yeah, right. So, West End Games uh, went A up. Uh, they are no longer around. Uh, so, they released the D6 system for free. So it's now open gaming license. Anyone can use it. There are a bunch of mods and hacks on it. A lot of this was done for the Star Wars game. Uh, now, the Star Wars game still has the ghost die in it, but it's called the wild die. And for that, whenever you roll a six, it explodes. So you keep <laughs> rolling the six uh, until you stop getting sixes. Right. Um, so you can have like a wildly huge success or, of course, a failure on every roll. Um, so you, you do see a lot of that carry over into the Western games. Uh, Character creation. What did you guys think of character creation? 
Easy. Yeah, mm-hmm. super straightforward. Yeah. Too easy? Was there like not enough detail for you to like carve out a character? Was it I think perfect or? They might have like rethought the traits <laughs> maybe if they had more time. If, they're, if they'd seen like feats from Dungeons and Dragons, for example, and they're like, uh, there's all these very specific, really like useful stuff in there. And then there's cobble food, you know? So, yeah, for like yeah. a longer form game, I'd want to see maybe the ability to take three talents. Yes, or absolutely. Yeah. So you can have cobble food and also science and also fire weapon. Like mm-hmm. just having a couple more, I think would be helpful if you were stretching it out beyond an hour and a half game. Right. Um, definitely something I, I saw in there f- with the character creation. I really wish that there was a way to take, uh, like you're saying, a secondary mm-hmm. one in there. That that would be immensely popular. Um, so we got the infamous King Cupcake. Uh, oh, so hey. What do you, the peeps, think about this for a bunch of beginning players for RPGs? Yes. Well, I, can I share my own personal anecdote? You certainly can. Yeah. So this was the first game that I like studied, oh. that I like really got into, and I was like, I want to learn how this thing works. And this was closer to the original release of the game. I won't say exactly when. Um, so <laughs> yeah, for me, as like the second game that I ever picked up, this was a great learning experience. Um, and like Mason said you know it's just di- d6 pools and character creation like you saw was 10 minutes so mm-hmm. i mean if you're just getting your feet wet i am hard pressed to think of a better system really mm. yeah the only thing is i wish that they had the uh, ghost die available online somewhere mm-hmm. that, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. using a d6 is fine uh, but just having that aesthetic ghost dies is, is fun to see when you roll it maybe we'll I, order them somewhere i i will add on your story, uh, I, I definitely think a D6 only game is very good for beginners yeah. because last year I uh, convinced a bunch of my friends who had not played any tabletop games to play Monster of the Week because I knew that that was like more of a genre they'd be interested in and the fact that it wasn't all of like the different polyhedral dice made it so much easier. So this would absolutely be like... It tells you how many dice to roll, and they're all the same kind of die, so yeah. And it's a familiar universe. Yes, exactly. And it's lighthearted, so I feel like, you know, you're not throwing somebody in a grim, dark fantasy game where they have to, you know, roll with advantage and then a d6 to determine yada, yada, yada. And the, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of like having all the (laughs) four traits slash stats, it's like... very few numbers. Yeah, exactly, and it's super easy to figure out what goes where, and it's not like, which bonus is what the... Yeah, I, I think it's very clean... Uh, the rule book was only like 26 pages and there was a lot of pictures from the first movie. <laughs> yeah. So it's not Mostly even. Mostly pictures. Yeah, yeah, it's not even that yeah. thick of a book. So. I didn't read the rule book. I'm really bad at math. The things that, when people ask me to play tabletop games with them, I always fight down the urge to be like, but I'm bi, I can't do math. This is a trait that we all have. We just can't do it. Um <laughs> So I always come into new games being like, I'm not going to be able to do the math. I'm going to be asking really dumb questions like, what's three plus three? And yeah, I did ask dumb questions like, what's three plus three? But you're only asking what's three plus three. You're not dealing with a ton of numbers. If I can get through this and do math flailing, you can do this. Okay. I mean, it definitely isn't like Chaosium where they've got a bunch of D10s and what have you. Uh, This is definitely a lot cleaner. What what did you think? How does, um, how how do you normally accrue brownie points in this game? Uh, You normally accrue brownie points by going after one of your goals. Oh, right. Um, Okay. So normally you would have like, oh, I want to be rich. I want to be famous. I want to be what have you. So you get brownie points by being closer to that goal? Exactly. So as you take role play choices that may be against the grain, like, yeah, Mm -hmm. I could help humanity out but I'm going to go ahead and sell this video to the highest bidder or what have you. Or I'm going to ask Dana Barrett out on a date and then take her to the Tavern on the Green. Although they don't go to the Tavern on the Green, they go somewhere else. doesn't matter. But, yeah. It makes me... It makes me... Dad. (laughs) It makes me think, like, is this game more intended for, like, long-term play, like multiple sessions or, like, one-shots? But it it seems like it's kind of more of a longer-term type of game. Yeah, I've I've been listening to a podcast where they have done a long-term version of it. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm hard pressed to see it going beyond five to ten sessions at most, because after you've accrued so many brownie points, uh, you know, like oh, everything you're rolling's got five dice on it, plus your thing where you got a, an extra three, so you're rolling eight dice. I mean, That's true. Yeah. There's not a lot of room for you to grow. Mm-hmm. But the uh, the ghost die does kind of help balance that, I would suppose. It does. No yeah. matter what, you've always got the chance for a ghost die. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we went over character creation. Uh, combat. How do you guys feel about the combat? I wish we did firearms. Yeah. <laughs> My only issue with the combat is that it felt very. I mean, this is uh, something from the time frame. It's you do this, they do that. Mm-hmm. You do this, you do that. 
there wasn't a lot of other ways to interact yeah. with the ghost. Yeah. Uh, you started to do something where you could role play with it, and, and that was great. I thought you guys were actually going to get the ghost to like calm down and maybe cross over. And he's like, "Yeah, thank you for you know convicting them. I can pass on in peace." <laughs> you know, you guys trapped him, but hey, you guys are Ghostbusters. If You're there to bust ghost. If we didn't all have different additions, like if we didn't have the slime blaster and the dart upgrade, if we all just had proton packs, it would get real boring. Exactly. It's yeah. like, oh, you do one. You do one. Yeah. You do one. You do one. But that's also what, and if you think about the movie, they don't really do that much shooting. Yeah. Truthfully, yeah. they do it in montage yeah. because yeah. of that. So yeah. it is it is true kind to, of accurate. True to canon. Yeah. Yeah, but being faithful to canon uh, yeah. doesn't make for fun gameplay sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's something I would like to have seen. There's like more variety in combats, mm -hmm. uh, different ways for you to interact with the environment, uh, different ways for you to interact with the monsters themselves. Um, they actually had a lot of cool things for the ghosts to do, and one of the ghost abilities is called Murphy's Law, and that's it. It's just like you can make anything go wrong Oof. as a power. I'm like, well, that seems a little nice. overpowered, but hey, you got a proton pack. Yeah. Let's throw it at you. Sure. Okay, uh, so we went over uh, Ghost Eye, Brownie Points. What did you guys think about Brownie Points? Felt like it. you mm -hmm. good? Yeah. Yeah. It's the sort of thing, it, that's that's kind of what made me think if it's a longer term mm -hmm. game, because it was, you would take, if, if every time you get closer to your goal, you're getting one Brownie Point, and you have to turn in 30 to get a point. Mm -hmm. And and any time that you use it for an extra die or something, you're like, oh, well, there's there goes mm -hmm. all the goals. That, it seems like it would be really hard to like make the most of Brownie Points, you know, or like to want to keep them. Mm -hmm. It seems like you just want to yeah, we time. only were able to catch them because of uh, the donation that brought goes there. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you, uh, chat. I'll chat. You guys you all are amazing. Thank you. Guys. Okay. Um, oh. that, so we went over that it'd be good for new players. Uh, what about young players? Uh, say in the age between, like, you know, 7 to 12. Is this a game suitable for them? Absolutely. I think so. Yeah. It's yeah, easy. easy math. And also the Ghostbuster franchise, you got wiggle room on how scary you want to make mm -hmm, it. Yeah. You yeah. can have it be not scary. Or you could go like full scary if you're that kind of GM. But yeah, I think. You go extreme Ghostbusters when they're 13. Mm -hmm, you could <laughs> defang it enough to make it not scary for any age. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. like a like a small pack of marshmallow men. Mm -hmm. Or marshmallow people. Let's be. Yeah. Let's or be a whole bunch proper. of slimers. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. you could make it the cartoon version of Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. It totally could be. The real Ghostbusters, that is. <laughs> uh, Although they did bring Cthulhu in at one point. Uh, it's still a kid's show, though. It's pronounced Cthulhu for the show. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> no, that was it's just so distinct. frustrating to watch. I'm like, no, it's not Cthulhu. Stop the, the H is there for a reason. I think Sorry. they also went to hell in an episode. Yes. Something like that. Uh, there's, yeah. Uh, I, I was rewatching the real Ghostbusters and the Extreme Ghostbusters. Holy crap. Have you guys watched the Extreme <laughs> Ghostbusters? It is dark. No, it is I've never seen the real Extreme Ghostbusters. Up. Check it out. It's like on 144 <laughs> pixels <laughs> online, but you can find it. Uh, super scary. It's a glowing review of that. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for playing. Uh, this has been Games We Never Play. You guys can make sure to follow us at uh, GNWP. Oh, JWNP underscore pod. Yeah. I'm never going to get that right. No, nope. Hashtag, Hashtag, Hashtag LA Ghostbusters. Hashtag LA Ghostbusters. Hashtag LA Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters LA. Yeah, um, either or. Okay. <laughs> right now in, in our podcast, we're playing Zelda Reclaiming the Wild, a fan-made system, uh, lovingly crafted, mm -hmm. uh, and we're having a blast playing it. Uh, we're in session two is about to drop on Monday, so mm -hmm. make sure to subscribe so you guys can get that. Uh, where can people find the rest of you at Mr. Peck? Uh, on Twitter, you can find me at Dune Pook. It's like Dan Peck, but with O's. Uh, and please check out uh, the game of Rassilon. Again, I remembered this time. Uh, our Twitter is at Rassilon Pod. That's R A S S I L O N P O D. Uh, and we're on iTunes, Google, YouTube, all of the places. I'll tweet it out, you know. But uh, yeah, 19 episodes, season one, available. Uh, it's good for, or suitable for. New Who and classic Doctor Who fans, all are welcome. So you who? I who. You who, okay. We who. They who. Doon Pook. Doon Pook. Doon Pook who. <laughs> Sounds like a bad Star Wars character. <laughs> Doon Pook who. <laughs> the Wata Wa Pook who. Yeah. Uh, where can they find you, Beth? I'm Beth, and uh, online you can mostly find me under the name Arcady, though, because I'm a cosplayer and we all have fake names. It's A-R-K-A-D-Y. 
cosplay at the end. Um, and you can mostly find me on Twitter, but I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr. Um, yeah, I'm mostly a cosplayer, but I do occasionally games. So if you want to see me dress up as fictional characters, you can follow me there. I'm currently working on Fire Emblem Three Houses armor. Nice. If you've fallen into Fire Emblem Hell like I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm mostly on Twitter, and you can find me under the name Arcady Cosplay. What's your house? Blue Lions. Mm -hmm. I love my dumb jocks. My sad uh, dumb jocks. Golden Deer. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. <sighs> Blue Lions. Blue Lions. All right, Jesse, where, where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, just simply Jesse Durant. I guess I was the only one that thought, hey, just put your name on it. <laughs> so Smart, that's, easy, yeah. marketable. Branding. 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 <laughs> and then, Do you uh, want stalkers? Because that's how you get stalkers. Well, I didn't think of that. <laughs> if, well, we'll see. See you guys out there. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Well, really, really, you won't, me. but there'll be lots of pictures. <laughs> right. His you home... won't see them, but they'll see you. His home uh, address is weird. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so that or on Twitter, I'm Jesse A. Durant. You don't know what my middle name is, but it starts with an A. I'll get around to posting something eventually. And I just recently did a podcast of uh, something called Don't Quill the Messenger, which is like a Shakespeare authorship mm. podcast. That was in the last episode. It'll be up pretty soon on whatever, wherever you listen to podcasts. And, and uh, you'll see me on some save and throw stuff, too. So. Yeah. That sounds lovely. Uh, and I'm Michael Holmes. You can find me on Instagram at Michael R. Holmes, or you can find me on Twitter at MRH underscore three E. Again, if you want to hear some true stories of the paranormal, feel free to tweet me and I'll tell you some. Um, and uh, I am one of the co-hosts of Games We May Never Play, or Games We Never Play. Sorry, <laughs> that's a different group. Um, and I want to thank Dom and the Saving Throw crew yes. for having us here tonight. Thank you. It's always great to be here uh, rolling dice. And thank you so much to Mason for running one of my favorite game systems and having told a really great story tonight. Oh, no problem. Uh, this is, if you haven't read it, uh, the Postman Always Rings Twice. It's classic noir. Go, uh, go go, give it a read. It's like, you know, a couple hundred pages, but totally worth it. Um, I have been GM Mace. Uh, you can find me at GM underscore Mace like the weapon online everywhere. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe and uh, carry on. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Ghostbusters yeah. Jazz Hands. Jazz, jazz Hands. hands. Ah. Hashtag LA Ghostbusters. <laughs>